Chapter 3221, the Grand Dow, is formless, the two sabers clashed, causing an explosion of violet chi and black chi. As a result, the mountain rocked and a wild chi wave spread in every direction. In the Luo family, countless experts stared in the direction of the honing heavenly staircase. However, it was shrouded in mist, so they couldn't see what was happening. They could only hear metal clashing. It had been over ten days, and that sound continued all this time. Kin Feng, Bai Xiaol, Zhu Zixin, and the others had no idea what was going on. The Luo family's disciples were also confused. Today, the sound started once more, but they also saw black and violet kiss twining around each other like two giant dragons soaring into the heavens, shaking the stars. Within the roiling mist, they just barely managed to see two silhouettes, but nothing more. Within the mist, Long Chen and Liu Zichuan's sabers were still interlocked. Their gazes were as sharp as their sabers as they stared at each other. It was like two invisible blades were clashing as well, and space twisted wildly. This was a clash of mental strength. You're improving quickly, but you're still a fool. You don't understand how to use the Tao. All that brute power of yours has nowhere to go. A cultivator must understand that light and dark are two sides of the same coin. Life and death, existence and non-existence, long and short, high and low, the end of one signifies the birth of the other. If a cultivator doesn't understand this, they are like a phoenix with no wings, a dragon with no claws, the heavens without the sun, moon, and stars, the earth without rivers and lakes. When there is no cycle of life, that is true death. Even the heavenly dows are incomplete, leaving space to grow. You already know that you are lacking things, but you refuse to borrow the power of the heavenly downs. That is truly the pinnacle of foolishness. Yuo Zichuan looked at Long Chen coldly. Suddenly, Violet Kai burst out of his saber, and Long Chen felt an immense power knock him back several steps. With every step, he left a footprint on this stone mountain. The hardness of this mountain surpassed that of a treasure item. Even all this fighting hadn't damaged it. However, this time, it was as if Long Chen was being pressed down by the power of the heavenly downs. He felt like his bones would shatter. When he stabilized himself, he almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. What a huge joke. I want to borrow that power, but do you think the heavenly downs would allow me to? Even without it, I can still beat you, roared Long Chen. Previously, Liu Ozichuan had only been fighting Long Chen with his basic saber arts. Now, he was using the power of the Heavenly Daos. As for Long Chen, he was rejected by the Heavenly Daos and unable to use that power. On the martial heaven continent, he was capable of forcibly absorbing the power of heaven and earth for himself. But in the immortal world, it was no longer possible for him to force the heavenly Daos to give him their power. Long Chen refused to submit to the heavenly Daos. His hostility toward the heavenly Daos had not diminished at all here. How could he submit to the heavenly Daos and beg for its power? Yuo Zishuin coldly shouted, The Grand Dao is formless, giving birth to heaven and earth. The Grand Dao is emotionless, moving the sun and moon, the Grand Tao is nameless, nourishing all life. All things within heaven and earth have their own orbit. Why would the heavenly Tao's only target you? That assumption is you covering your eyes with a leaf so that you don't see the mountain. The true heavenly Tao's are formless, emotionless, and nameless. The heavenly Tao's are simply the executors of the laws of heaven and earth. For you to think that the heavenly Daos are targeting you is nothing more than a fanciful thought from you. Just like in society, you can't possibly obtain everyone's approval. If someone targets you, are you going to view that person's entire family as an enemy? Their entire race? The spring rain is a blessing for the farmer, while the pedestrian curses the mud. The autumn moon is like a mirror that beautiful women enjoy 
but it is hated by the robbers if even the heavens cannot satisfy every one how can a single person do that long chen was shaken especially by the final part of liu Zichuan's words rain was both a blessing and a curse the farmers crops were nourished by it but the travelers were forced to stay indoors or get muddy the autumn moon was beautiful and bright friends and children would play beneath its light but this light was what the robbers cursed reflecting their ugliness even an omnipotent existence like heaven and earth could not satisfy every one so how could a single person obtain every one's approval your darkness shrouds your heart shrouding your sixth root your sixth sense and your sixth perception the heavenly dows nourish all things in this world why would they single you out your foolishness is due to your conceit the final nine steps of the honing heavenly staircase are there to temper a person's arrogance they must cast aside their arrogance and treat the heavenly dows with respect and gratitude then they will naturally feel the blessing of the heavenly dows water can carry a boat but it can also drown it to control the heavenly dows is like trying to stay afloat in the mighty waves to be enemies with the heavenly dows and not receive their support a single person will sooner or later drown beneath the turbulence the heavenly dows do not specifically target anyone or specifically favor anyone your fate is in your own hands it has nothing to do with the heavenly dows said luo zichuan was that true long chen felt lost from the moment he had set foot in the cultivation world he had been constantly targeted by heavenly tribulation his heavenly tribulations were always different from other people's every single time it was a tribulation that wanted to take his life if anyone else said such words he would definitely scoff at them but these words were coming from luo zichuan and they shook long chen think carefully when you breathe what power is it that is entering your body and helping you recover continued luo zichuan an expression of disbelief appeared in long chen's eyes with this one reminder he instantly thought of something in order to fight fairly with luo zichuan since luo zichuan had suppressed his cultivation base long chen also didn't use his astral power nor did he immediately use the primal chaos space to recover from wounds he thought that it was the primal chaos space's automatic healing abilities helping him recover but with this reminder he suddenly realized that it wasn't the primal chaos space it was the power of the heavenly daos it was heavenly dao energy that helped him recover long chen couldn't believe it long chen raised his saber and slowly closed his eyes his saber was an extension of his body that he used to sense this world at this moment heaven and earth fell silent there was no sound when he closed his eyes he saw more he saw luo zichuan's saber quivering according to a set rhythm there were eight most optimal attack angles based on that quivering he saw the threads of violet kai as they circulated in that instant long chen had a feeling of absolute control he was no longer viewing the world with his eyes but through the angle of the heavenly dows he could clearly sense it it was unbelievable now long chen understood just how big the gap was between him and luo zichuan before this he was like a blind man now he could finally see that feeling simply couldn't be described with words suddenly a streak of violet light flew straight toward long chen's head like a bolt of lightning yuo zichuan had actually launched a killing blow with no warning at all chapter three thousand two hundred twenty two saber teller long chen then sent his saber piercing forward sparks flew as the tips of two sabers collided the tip was the sharpest part of the saber to use such a small surface area to block an opponent's attack was crazy if others were present they wouldn't be able to believe it yuo zichuan attacked without any warning every time 
Long Chen was forced to rely on his sense of danger and immense combat experience to tell where the attack was coming from. Sometimes he was clearly grasping where the attack would land, but he wouldn't be able to tell what kind of path it would take. So he was always flustered when he blocked. This time it was different. He was focused on sensing the world and saw a completely different world. He felt like this world was under his control. The moment Liu Zichuan attacked, Long Chen grasped the orbit of his attack, and the tip of his saber perfectly stopped him. Yuo Zichuan looked at Long Chen with a touch of praise in his violet eyes. Not bad. Conceit has its good points as well. Once you comprehend something, you won't doubt it. It can be said that you have grasped it. Only now did Long Chen understand that this grandfather of his had never wanted to kill him from the start. He had been using his own method to teach Long Chen what the Saber Dao was, and what the Heavenly Daos were. If Liuo Zichuan truly wanted to kill Long Chen, that last attack of his would have been impossible to dodge. Many thanks, family head. Long Chen put away his saber and bowed to Liuo Zichuan. He was completely convinced by this terrifying grandfather of his. Today, he learned what it meant for there to be a heaven beyond the heavens. Thinking of how he had thought that he was unrivaled within the same realm, he had truly been as naive as a frog at the bottom of a well. Yuo Zichuan looked at Long Chen with mixed emotions. You're foolish sometimes, yet intelligent other times. You're wise sometimes, yet impetuous at others. You're a mix of contradictions. I see light in your eyes, but also darkness. There are too many variables on you that make people uneasy. To tell the truth, if it weren't for this saber, there's an 80% chance that I would have killed you. Are you still bothered by the bloodline problem? Long Chen's anger flowed once more. In the end, Yuo Zichuan still didn't acknowledge him. Yuo Zichuan nodded. Your violet blood has withered. I used my own violet kai to press you to the border of death, but your violet blood didn't react at all. No matter how great your talent, no matter how stunning your cultivation technique, without the violet blood, it still means nothing when it comes to the violet blood race. Do you know? If you had the violet blood, then, as you grew, it would cause a resonance with the entire family's bloodline. On your own, you would be able to lead the entire Luo family to glory. This is the only chance of my Luo family rising before this time of peace comes to an end. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. His supreme blood was in Long Aoshan's body. He hadn't killed him on the Martial Heaven continent, leaving him alive as a tracker that could help Long Chen search for his father. If he did find Long Aoshan later, he wondered if he could reclaim his supreme blood. Long Chen suddenly had a grand hope. He rejoiced that he hadn't directly killed Long Aoshin back then. What does that have to do with your saber? Asked Long Chen. This saber was given to me by a mysterious saber teller. At that time, my Luo family was in crisis. I asked him what the price was, and his answer was that in the future my descendant had to go find him. After obtaining this violet fern, I awaken my violet pupils and violet blood power. I defeated the enemies surrounding us, settling the internal and external troubles, stabilizing the Luo family. That person never appeared again, though. Even after all these years, there hasn't been the slightest trace of him. But when you entered the Luo family, violet fern let out a rumble. I knew that you are the descendant that the saber teller spoke of. A person must keep their promises. That saber teller allowed me to save the Luo family, so I naturally can't kill you, said Luo Zichuan. Long Chen was astonished by this. There was actually such a story. Saber tellers. Long Chen had seen legends about them in the Academy's ancient texts. They bestowed precious sabers to people in urgent need and always forecast something that would occur. When that prophecy occurred, the saber-teller would once more appear to fulfill the initial promise. 
Saber tellers were mysterious existences. There were many legends about them in history, but there were no true records about them. That was because saber tellers were related to the secrets of heaven and earth. Thus, they could not be recorded. What was known about them was simply their ability to give prophecies and that they would lend sabers. Their promises must be fulfilled, or calamity would descend. The saber, the Tao, the follower. To use the saber is to follow the Tao. No followers, no Tao, the heavens collapse. With followers, one with the Tao, the heavens at peace. This was the only true record regarding saber tellers that he had read in those ancient texts. Everything else was just legend. Long Chen had always thought that those saber tellers were nothing more than legends. After all, he refused to believe that there was really such a thing as prophecy in this world. Hence, he hadn't expected such a thing to actually occur to him. This saber teller had come during Yuo Zichuan's youth. At that time, Yuo Zichuan hadn't reached the immortal king realm, nor had he married and had children. How did the saber teller know that after so many years, a youth that ascended from the lower plane would come to the Luo family? That was all so bizarre that he couldn't possibly believe that it was a coincidence. Just how did Luo Zichuan know this? Would he make such a mistake? There was also no way that he would bother making up such a lie. Thus, Long Chen was bewildered. All right, since you are the one that the saber teller forecast, that means that his prophecy has come true. I cannot kill you. Right now, I'm going to really start attacking. If you are killed now, that simply means that this is all a misunderstanding. I won't be holding back with the next attacks. Whether you live or die is up to how tough your life is. Yuo Zichuan's saber rumbled and Violet Kai exploded out of it. After that, battle intent sword and a shark locked onto Long Chen. Why do we have to keep fighting? asked a startled Long Chen. Do you think that you've really comprehended the saber Dao? You're a long way off. If you want to be my grandson, you must have the power that I approve of. I will transmit my life's teachings to you. Comprehend it if you can. If you can't, you will be killed. Yuo Zichuan once more became cold, his eyes emotionless. Then I'll ask the family head for some pointers. Long Chen's own battle intent sword. Against a powerful expert, he didn't get discouraged at all. He thirsted to get stronger. Kill. Yuo Zichuan and Long Chen shouted at the same time. It was like two claps of thunder. One old and one young expert charged at each other. Chapter 3223 Perfection Appears Flawed Boom Long Chen and Yuo Zichuan were both sent flying, both of them speckled with blood, but Long Chen had more blood on him. You still dare to hold back at this time? Do you want to die? Bartle you owe Zichuan. If I kill you, I won't be able to face my mother. She's had a hard enough time. I can't add to her pain. Blood slowly dripped down Long Chen's body, but his aura remained in its strongest state. Fool, if you don't use your full power, how will you comprehend the true Saber Dao? Without comprehending the true Saber Dao, you will be cut down by others. With your power, even ten thousand of you won't be able to kill me. Keep holding back, and I'll kill you. Rather than dying to someone else in the future, it would be better for you to die to my hands. Yuo Zichuan's eyes began to grow brighter until they were like two violet suns. A violet sea appeared behind him. For the first time, Yuo Zichuan summoned his manifestation. Violet Kai filled the world and a majestic bloodline power was unleashed. In that instant, Long Chen felt the surrounding space press down on him fiercely. It was as if Yuo Zichuan had become the ruler of this space, and a single thought from him could kill Long Chen. Long Chen was shocked. Yuo Zichuan had said that he would only use his power to the limit of the Four Peak Realm. 
Hence, Long Chan hadn't expected him to become so terrifying after activating his primal bloodline. Despite being in the Four Peak Realm, his aura was far more terrifying than late stage Divine Lords. With Liu Zichuan's primal bloodline activated and his manifestation out, Long Chen felt an intense sense of danger. He knew that Liu Zichuan didn't want to kill him, but with him going all out, if Long Chen couldn't receive this attack, he would definitely die. Even Liu Zichuan himself wouldn't be able to stop it. Divine Ring Battle Armor A pillar of light exploded out of Long Chen, forcing back the Violet Kai. After that, a dragon roar resounded throughout this space, and the entire Liuo family shuddered, its buildings creaking. In just a bit, cracks appeared in some buildings, and the Liuo family's experts hastily activated the formations protecting those buildings. Yuo Changwu, Kin Feng, the Zhu Zixian, Bai Saiol, Yuo Bing, and the others all stared in shock in the direction of the Hoeing Heavenly Staircase. They saw two pillars of light, one violet and one golden. They blasted away the clouds, piercing the firmament of the heavens and forming a giant vortex. It was even possible to see a twisted starry river within that vortex. It's been so many years since I've seen the family head's manifestation. Back then, with a violet sea over his head and the violet fern in his hand, he killed those powerful experts until they collapsed and fled in terror. Countless elders of the Luo family grew emotional when they saw the violet light. They had followed Luo Zichuan in that battle back then. They felt like they had returned to that period. I didn't expect that the family head would personally instruct Long Chen. Even the three of us never got any pointers from him. Yuo Changu bitterly smiled. His memories of his father were rather vague, and he didn't recall his father ever hugging him. The number of times that he had seen him did not surpass ten. Yuo Zichuan was mysterious and emotionless. Others respected and revered him, treating him like a god. Not one person was ever capable of analyzing his thoughts. However, Liuo Zichuan was personally guiding Long Chen now. Furthermore, it had almost been twenty days. Looking at this scene, even Liuo Changwu didn't know what exactly he was feeling inside. As their sabers collided, divine light raged. Their sabers were wrapped with heavenly Tao energy, unleashing giant saber images that made it look like enormous sabers were clashing. It was like a battle of gods. This was Long Chen's first time feeling so refreshed. He felt like he had limitless power, like Kun Peng swimming in the vast sea and soaring above the nine heavens. He fell free. Boop! The two retreated at the same time. Yuo Zichuan's Violet Kai returned within him, and Long Chen deactivated his battle armor. Long Chen was extremely grateful to Yuo Zichuan, and he also felt great reverence for him. Yuo Zichuan was definitely the strongest person Long Chen had met. His attainments of the Saber Dao seemed to have reached a kind of peak. The current Long Chen was a completely different person from before he had come to the Yuo family. Thanks to Yuo Zichuan's sharpening, he had turned from a dull blade to a divine blade unleashing a brilliant light. The fight can end here. You have essentially comprehended 70% of my saber realm. The remaining 30% would only restrict you if I taught it to you. In that case, you would only ever become a second Yuo Zichuan and never surpass me. Next, I will teach you some principles. Whether or not you can understand is up to yourself. Yuo Zichuan sat lotus style on the ground. Long Chen also respectfully sat in front of him, listening with rapt attention. You have comprehended the saber realm, but have neglected saber techniques. This is unacceptable. Your mental realm is extremely high, and you've comprehended many principles. But great intellect has drawbacks. The honing heavenly stair has ninety-nine steps, but you think that only the final nine steps have any use. It's like a starving person who eats fifty buns just to feel full. He thinks that the fiftieth bun filled him, 
while neglecting the contribution of the first forty-nine. Within the laws of heaven and earth, what is most important is progressing in the correct sequence. If your footsteps are too big, you will neglect many things. The most perfect things look as if they have flaws. Wisdom lies within small things. In the same principle, the major dows lie within the minor dows. By grasping the small things, it leads you to bigger and bigger things, until you can see the whole universe, said Luo Zichuan. Junior understands. Whether or not something has a use depends entirely on whether a person feels that it has a use or not. Long Chen nodded. Through this battle, he comprehended many things that he had previously neglected. As a heaven master, he understood countless principles. But after his battle with Liuo Zichuan, he was completely ashamed of himself. Back then, in the Tao discussion convention, he had brazenly said that everyone else was spouting nonsense. Now he felt like he was slapping his own face. Liuo Zichuan was a true example of someone experienced with both theory and practice. Long Chen had walked many paths. But he was always looking forward while neglecting his own footsteps. Although he stood at this height, he neglected his process of rushing over here. He had not taken the time to enjoy the scenery at every stop. Long Chen had always felt that memorizing saber techniques was weaker than fighting freely. If he had a technique, it would have a flaw. Only stylus forms lacked flaws. At least, that was what he had thought. However, Liuo Zichuan had used himself to show him just how important proper technique was. Long Chen had not reached the realm of needing no form, but had tried to comprehend the essence of a formless form. It was the very picture of someone with a high standard, but little ability. That was a grave taboo for a cultivator. He had actually been doing such a taboo without even realizing it. That was why Liuo Zichuan scolded him as foolish. Now Long Chen was fully convinced. Liuo Zichuan nodded. Not bet. For you to be able to say such a thing means that you have truly understood. Other than that, let us discuss the heavenly Tao's. Do you know why the heavenly Tao's dislike you? Chapter 3224 Going Down the Mountain Long Chen shook his head. He had always thought that the heavenly Daos were targeting him and trying to get him killed. As for why, he really couldn't say. The heavens place great responsibility on people. But those people must first be tested. Their muscles might break, their stomachs are empty, and they turn into nothing but skin and bones. This struggle is what turns them into people capable of great power. All true experts have gone through their own struggles. For the heavenly Tao's to reject you, for the human Tao to bully you, it is the storm that rages across the plain, leaving only the tough grass. It is the fire that leaves behind only the true gold. The moment I saw you, I could sense that brutality deep in your inner heart. Although your eyes have been sealed, I can sense that terrifying dark energy. If you are allowed to grow, you will possess the power to destroy the entire world. In theory, you should be a divergent of heaven and earth, someone who should not exist in this world. Such an existence will face heavenly punishment and be wiped out. And yet, you are still alive. That means that you have great goodness in your heart, and the heavens will not kill you. But your heart also has great evil, so the heavenly Tao's desire to wipe you out. You are a combination of contradictions, so the heavenly Tao's have also become contradictory. Whether you are destroyed or not rests on the line between good and evil, said Liuo Zichuan. Are you saying that the heavenly Tao's are not destroying me because I have good in my heart, but they don't like me because I have evil in my heart? But all people have good and evil in their hearts. Why are they targeting me? asked Long Chen. Yuo Zichuan nodded. That is the real question. But you shouldn't be asking me this question. You should ask yourself. Ask myself. Long Chen stared blankly. Suddenly, his heart jumped. 
Was it his status as a nine-star heir? Yuo Zichuan stood up and turned his back to Long Chen, looking into the distance. He muttered, the current heavenly Daos are no longer the old heavenly Daos. There is a mysterious existence, with supreme power affecting the neutrality of the heavenly Daos. However, there is one thing that you must understand. The heavenly Daos and the human Dao, they are all good and bad. Some people will harm you and some will help you. You must be clear on which ones are enemies and which ones are friends. Don't view everyone around you as an enemy just because of the one enemy in front of you. Long Chen was shocked. Yuo Zichuan had also seen something about him and was warning him. Was he saying that it was because of the nine stars that Long Chen was targeted by the heavenly Daos? However, at the same time as he was targeted, he also received a portion of the heavenly Daos protection. He was not abandoned by the heavenly Daos. It was just that he was constantly rejected by heavenly Dao energy. It was only now that Long Chen's thinking changed. Unfortunately, Yuo Zichuan was being rather obscure with his words. He didn't say anything directly. Long Chen also didn't dare to be sure that his guess was correct. For you to use heavenly Dao energy will be a hundred times more difficult than others. Today you have only opened the door. You'll need to slowly comprehend and experience it yourself in the future, said Yuo Zichuan. Junior understands, said Long Chen. Yuo Zichuan had opened a door for Long Chen. This was a door to an entirely new world, so Long Chen had truly benefited immensely. You have too much power. Compared to the saber in your hand, you rely more on your own power. That is currently the area that you are lacking the most compared to me. The heavens have the laws of the heavens. All things have their own attributes. Hence, a saber is not just an extension of your body. It is the link connecting you to heaven and earth. However, I am unable to teach you such a thing. The only one who can teach you is yourself. If I tried to explain it with my saber, then after that teaching, only one of us would be alive. That would no longer be a lesson but a killing. You will need to rely on yourself to learn those things. But you also don't need to be in a rush. Right now, you don't even have a suitable saber for yourself. Perhaps one day it will find you, said Luo Zichuan. Long Chen instantly thought of Dragonbone Evil Moon. It had once been his most trusted companion. With it, Perhaps Long Chen would be able to gain deeper insights into the Saber Dao. When it came to the Saber, his only technique right now was the first form of Split the Heavens. But in front of Luo Zichuan, Long Chen had no chance of unleashing it. Luo Zichuan's attacks were like a tempest, so big moves like that were a joke in front of him. There was no chance of unleashing it. Trying to would be no different than suicide. However, after this battle, Long Chen saw a new direction for Split the Heavens. He could change it, allowing Heavenly Dao energy to merge into it, greatly shortening the cast time. He was looking forward to it. Long Chen stared at Liu Zichuan's back. After a moment of hesitation, he said, Grandfather I, let's go. The food has been prepared. Liu Zichuan interrupted him. Just like that, he began descending the honing heavenly staircase. Long Chen followed him. Before this, he was always sent tumbling down. Now that he was walking down, he found that descending the mountain was even harder than climbing it. He found it difficult to control his own body. Life is like climbing one mountain after another. Beyond the mountain you see before you, there is always another mountain but most people can only see what is right in front of them. Once they reach the peak of the mountain, they gaze into the distance and see an even larger mountain. To get there, you must descend the mountain that you have climbed. Many people are only capable of climbing, but not descending. They do not realize that the descent is preparation for the next climb. Thus, 
countless people become dispirited and depressed when they descend the mountain. By the time the next mountain is in front of them, they have no more energy and are powerless to climb it. These valleys are the greatest trial in a person's life. Only when your Tao heart is steady while crossing these valleys can you make all your preparations for the climb. You have done well in this regard. No matter what kind of despair I forced you into, your Tao heart remained unshaken. That is something I was unable to achieve in my youth, said Liuo Zichuan as he walked. Every single one of Liuo Zichuan's words contained deep meaning but Long Chen only wanted to ask where his mother was. He wasn't too interested in these words. Grandfather, my mother. Yuo Zichuan suddenly stopped. Long Chen was so frightened that he almost instinctively whipped out his saber. Without turning back, Liuo Zichuan lightly said, Do you not understand what climbing down the mountain means? Sometimes your path might look like it's leading you away from your target. But surprisingly, it is precisely the only correct path. You cannot tell your identity to anyone, including those uncles of yours. Understood? Understood. Long Chen helplessly nodded. Yuo Zichuan truly was mysterious. Most of his words were vague. However, he understood that Yuo Zichuan did not wish to talk about his mother. As for why, Yuo Zichuan definitely had his reasons. For him to say this, he was essentially telling Long Chen not to mention this matter again. At the same time, the matter of him being his grandson was to be kept secret. Even his uncles were to be kept in the dark. Long Chen vaguely felt like there was something babe that he didn't know going on. Chapter 3225 Resolve Grudges Long Chen and Liuo Zichuan descended the mountain. The Liuo family's experts had already started lining up and greeting them. When they saw Liuo Zichuan, all their eyes shone brightly with a reverence that came from deep within their souls. The food had been prepared, and there were all kinds of piping hot delicacies. Liuo Zichuan naturally sat at the head of the table, but Long Chen was seated directly to his left. Only then did the rest of the Liuo family's experts come in and take their seats. On Liuo Zichuan's left side was Long Chen, and on his right side was Liuo Changwu. The rest were all the main pillars of the Liuo family. Amongst them was the Grand Elder. Kin Feng, Mai Ziaol, Zhu Zixin, Liuo Bing, Liuo Ning, Liuo Zhu, and the others also had a table. That was the only table for the youngsters at this feast. However, even once all the Liuo family's experts came in, they simply stood beside the tables. Not one person dared to sit, let alone start moving their chopsticks. Liuo Zichuan smiled. Today, we have an important guest. This is no ordinary family feast, so there's no need to be constrained. Sit. Navaloon come everyone sat. Bai Ziol cast a glance at Liuo Ning and the others, meaning that he felt the Liuo family's rules to be truly strict. Even eating couldn't be done casually. Although my Liuo family might live in just some corner of the world, our wares are very luxurious. These foods are all high quality. You definitely won't be able to get the same food in the High Firmament Academy, said Liuo Zichuan. He actually personally served Long Chen. Long Chen was overwhelmed with favor. As for Liuo Changwu, he smiled as if relieved of a heavy weight. All his worry of the past few days was set aside. I haven't seen the family head smile in many years, said the Grand Elder with his own smile. Ha ha ha, it seems that you're not much better than me in that regard, laughed Liuo Zichuan. The Liuo family's experts laughed. The Grand Elder was famed for his strictness, so they could probably count the number of times that he had smiled in this lifetime with two hands. The Grand Elder had made great contributions to the Liuo family. Having followed Liuo Zichuan in his slaughter back then, he was the only surviving member of his ten great generals. Within the entire Liuo family, 
only the grand elder dared to speak like this to the family head other than Liu Bing and the others the rest of the members that were qualified to come here were the backbone of the Liu family hence if they weren't accompanying Kin Feng and the others Liu Bing, Liu Zhu, and the rest would not be qualified to come here. These elders saw that the family head was very happy. The atmosphere gradually grew warmer. Family head, I cannot express my thanks enough. This toast is for you. Long Chen stood and raised his cup to Liu Zichuan with both hands. He truly felt immense reverence for Liu Zichuan. In the past few days, under Liu Zichuan's guidance, he felt like he had been reforged. But Liu Zichuan raised his own cup. Even when it came to drinking wine, his movements were clean and easy. I'll raise this cup of wine to everyone. You've worked hard for the Liu family during these years. Zichuan thanks you, said Liu Zichuan. The Liu family's experts hastily stood. This toast made them all emotional. This encouragement from Liu Zichuan was the greatest recognition for them. I'll raise this third cup to congratulate the Liu family on its new companion. From this day onward, Long Chen's matters are the Liu family's matters. Liu Zichuan once more raised his cup. Seeing this, Qin Feng, Bai Xiao, Zhu Zixian, and Long Chen hastily drank. This cup was for them. After those three drinks, Liu Zichuan turned to Liu Changwu and patted him on the shoulder. The Liu family has been depending on you and Changwu all these years. You've done very well. I'm very satisfied. Liu Changwu was overwhelmed. It was the first time his father was treating him so closely. He hastily said, It's all thanks to the family head's guidance. My big brother and I have only made meager contributions. The Liuo family hasn't been all that outstanding lately. I cannot accept your praise. Every person has a different style for governing a family. I specialize in offense, not defense. In a chaotic world, I will guide the family to victory. But in a peaceful world, I can't do anything. The two of you have done very well in my eyes, said Liuo Zichuan. Many thanks for your praise, Father. Yuo Chang was extremely emotional. It was his first time calling him Father instead of Family Head. Yuo Zichuan nodded. I'm going out on a trip to resolve my grudges from all those years ago. I'll leave the family to the two of you. Yuo Chang was shocked out of his happiness. You're going out. But now, all the Yuo family's experts jumped in shock. The Devil Sea had been exceptionally lively during this time. They might launch an incredibly strong attack at any moment. Moreover, the Chu family was also making some moves. Now the Luo family was surrounded by enemies. As the mental pillar of the Luo family, if Luo Zichuan left at this critical time, no one would have confidence. I was preparing to wait for this matter to settle before leaving, but I find that there's no need. I need to resolve that matter soon. The longer it drags on, the worse it will get. The Liuo family will be left to you for now, said Liuo Zichuan, looking at Liuo Changwu and Long Chen. He smiled and then vanished from sight. Once Liuo Zichuan left, Long Chen saw that the expressions of all the Liuo family's experts grew solemn. Did the family head say anything to you about this? Yuo Chenwu turned to Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. The family head didn't say anything about this. Yuo Zichuan was truly an incomprehensible existence, leaving just like this with no warning or explanation. He was very mysterious with his matters. Long Chen had countless questions, but he was completely unable to see through this grandfather of his. The banquet instantly grew tense. Other than Zhu Zixin and Bai Ziaol, no one was in the mood to eat and drink. After the banquet, Long Chen told Liuo Zhu to take Qin Feng, Bai Ziaol, and Zhu Zixin to the Honing Heavenly Staircase. He also told Qin Feng that he had to bring the two of them to the 90th star. 
That was his mission. After entrusting that to Qin Feng, Long Chen wanted to see Liuo Changwu, only to find that the Devil Sea had once more attacked, causing Liuo Changwu to return to lead things. After that, Long Chen took a transportation formation back to the Devil Sea and found that there was a flood of sea demons charging onto the shore. But this attack wasn't as powerful as when he was here last time. The defenses were holding on easily. Long Chen came to the commander tower. Standing shoulder to shoulder with Liuo Changwu, the two of them stared at the endless Devil Sea. Liuo Changwu sighed, I don't know if my father will be able to return this time. But Long Chen was startled. Father only brought violet fern. He left its sheath to continue maintaining the Liuo family's karmic luck. Thus, this time, Yuo Chang Wu's voice quivered slightly. Long Chen felt a chill. He knew that something was out of the ordinary. Chapter 3226 Secret of the Violet Blood The treasured saber violet fern was matched by its sheath. They were one set and complemented each other, so they had to be together to unleash their greatest power. However, Yuo Zichuan had only brought the saber, not the sheath. That made Liuo Changwu feel uneasy. Yuo Zichuan had previously told him and his big brother that Violet Fern's sheath had the life teachings of his saber Dao. If something happened to him, those teachings must be transmitted to future generations. Hearing that, Long Chan was startled. Where did the family head go? Yuo Changwu shook his head. Father never tells us what he's doing. But if my guess is correct, he has gone to that place. Where? Pressed Long Chen. Yuo Changwu hesitated. In the end, he sighed and said, Father did say that you can be trusted. The Yuo family doesn't need to keep any secrets from you. Fine, I'll tell you. This relates to the secrets of the Yuo family. Yuo Changwu told Long Chen a story that made his heart pound. The Liuo family was originally the grand and famous violet blood race of ancient times, an existence on par with the Jiyalai and heavenly eye races. Before each family had died, they would always transmit a secret that was kept from others. That secret was that the Liuo family was nothing more than a tiny weak branch of the violet blood race. The true violet blood race was trapped in a danger zone, but before being trapped, they managed to send out a small group of their people with lower quality bloodlines. After that, those people ended up scattered throughout the immortal world. Many people in the immortal world possessed a trace of the violet blood race's bloodline. However, over time, that trace had been diluted to the point that it could be considered non-existent. Thus, the people from the violet blood race that had been sent out silently merged with the rest of the immortal world. As for the Liuo family, it began with one of those people. For millions of years, they had one mission, and that was to save the violet blood race that was trapped in the danger zone. The crux to saving them was to restore their ancestral violet blood. According to Liuo Zichuan, Yuo Ningxuang was their only hope of saving the violet blood race. However, Yuo Ningxuang rebelled against this, secretly going to the lower plane and having a child there. That was why Yuo Zichuan was so infuriated that he imprisoned her. These were all secrets of the Yuo family. The only ones who knew of them were Yuo Zichuan, Yuo Changwu, and Yuo Changwen. Now there was a fourth person who knew of it. The reason why Liuo Changwu told Long Chen these things was because he felt that since his father had elevated Long Chen to the most trustworthy position, there must be some deeper meaning. So while he hesitated, he still told him. Hearing this, Long Chen understood just why Liuo Zichuan had such an urge to kill him. This truly was related to important matters. Yuo Ningxuang was the only hope of the Liuo family. As a result of an accident arising from many factors, a string of karma was formed and bound. Yuo Zichuan was about to succeed in the mission that the Liuo family had been entrusted to for millions of years, only for the stubbornness of a single woman to ruin all those efforts. 
How could he not be angry? Long Chen had truly hated Liuo Zichuan at first. After learning all this, he could only bitterly smile. If he was Liuo Zichuan, what would he do? I worry that my father is unable to wait that long and has gone there. Although his bloodline is the purest of the current Liuo family, and his power is unsurpassed, he has not reached the point of reviving the ancestral bloodline, nor has he awakened the violet blood divine abilities. I'm afraid. Senior is worrying too much. Someone as wise as the family, head, won't sacrifice a body that still has a use for no reason. The family said that he was going on a trip to resolve his old grudges. That doesn't necessarily refer to this matter. It's very likely his own personal grudges, said Long Chen. All he could do was comfort Liuo Changwu. In truth, he was also very worried. But considering Liuo Zichuan's wisdom, Long Chen didn't really believe that he would do such a foolish thing. He must have another reason for leaving. Furthermore, for him to tell Liuo Changwu that Long Chen could be trusted to this extent, it was essentially entrusting the Liuo family to him. Even so, Long Chen still didn't have a good feeling. The fact that Liuo Zichuan had transmitted his life's teachings to him probably wasn't a good omen. However, he had already gone. Liuo Chengwu didn't even know where the danger zone that the Violet Blood race was trapped in was, so panic and worry wouldn't have any use. If my mother made a mistake, I will take care of it. I need to find Long Ayashin and see if I can restore my violet blood. Just as Long Chen had this thought, he had another thought. If he restored his violet blood, what would happen to his dragon blood? Would they clash? Long Chen felt a headache. The matter of the Luo family was too complicated. It wasn't something that he could figure out now, so he could only take things step by step. Fortunately, he felt that someone with Liuo Zichuan's wisdom wouldn't put his mother in any real danger. That made him temporarily at ease. Senior, said Long Chen. Don't call me senior. It would make us feel distant. I'm only a bit older than you. You can call me big brother, said Liuo Changwu. What? If the seniority was messed up to that extent, wouldn't his mother beat him? Long Chen hastily said, I feel like Marshall Uncle would be best. Actually, Long Chen should call him Uncle. But at least this way, the seniority was not a mess. Marshall Uncle, since the family head trusts me to this extent, I must treat the Luo family as my own family. So let us talk frankly. I wish to know exactly how strong the Luo family is, said Long Chen. Yuo Changwu said, I'm ashamed to say it, but our Liuo family has always been dependent on father. He is the only immortal king. Including myself and my big brother, there are eleven peak divine lords with awakened primal bloodlines. But even after so many years, none of us are able to take the final step. If Junior's sister was present with her talent, she would have long since reached the immortal king realm. With two immortal kings, father probably wouldn't have it so tough. Yuo Changwu was ashamed. He and his brother wished to share his father's burden and step into the immortal king realm. Unfortunately, the barrier to that realm was like a heavenly chasm that firmly blocked them, not allowing them to see any hope of crossing it. The Yuo family had eleven primal divine lords, five hundred ordinary divine lords, and forty-six four-peak primals. In truth, that foundation was very powerful. Outsiders were unaware of just how many primals they had. To the outside world, the Luo family had no primal divine lords and only had six four-peak primals such as Luo Zhu and Luo King. The rest were kept hidden. However, Four peak primals in the heavenly swell domain had great difficulty maintaining their primal bloodlines when attacking the divine lord realm. Only a few were able to luckily maintain their primal bloodlines. As for Luo Changwu and Luo Changwen, the reason that they were able to maintain their primal bloodline was because Luo Zichuan had protected them. 
It was said that Liu Zichuan had paid quite the price for that. Marshal uncle, pick out six hundred elite disciples. I'll help them awaken their primal bloodlines, said Long Chen. What it? Yuo Changwu jumped in shock. He didn't dare to believe his ears. Chapter 3227 Wood Foundation Divine Arum Marshal Uncle, the family head has shown me his kindness. I naturally must repay him. I have a method to stimulate people's primal bloodlines, but you must keep this method secret. In the entire immortal world, you are the only one who knows this secret, said Long Chen solemnly. His mother had caused the Liuo family to lose the chance that they had been waiting millions of years for. Also, Liuo Zichuan had now left, and it was unknown just whether or not he would return. Hence, Long Chen felt like he and his mother owed the Liuo family. If he wanted to repay them, then he had over six hundred heavenly Tao fruits. He was prepared to create six hundred primals for the Liuo family. Hearing this, even someone like Liuo Chang was shaken. A technique to activate a person's primal bloodline. What kind of heaven-defying ability was that? Seeing how solemn Long Chen was being, he knew that this was an absolute secret. If the rest of the immortal world were to learn of this, there would be no escaping his death. I understand. At most, I will tell this matter to my big brother. There will be no problem with its secrecy, promised Liuo Changwu. Long Chen nodded and took out six hundred heavenly Tao fruits. He then gave them to Liuo Changwu. Marshal uncle, I'll leave you to pick the people. What's important isn't aptitude, but strong willpower and perseverance. Liuo Changwu accepted the fruit with disbelief. He felt like he was dreaming unable to imagine how this fruit could create primals. Long Chen had Liuo Changwu handle things while he took over the commander tower. Liuo Changwu wasn't entirely at ease, so he sent the Grand Elder to help Long Chen. With the Grand Elder present, Long Chen chose to sit to the side and meditate. He wished to carefully comprehend the teachings that Liuo Zichuan had transmitted to him. Yuo Zichuan's saber Dao appeared to be all mixed up and chaotic. Occasionally, a blow came in one style, and then another blow came in a different style. In truth, all those styles had long since been trained until they were ingrained within him. By using this method, he showed Long Chen just how important it was to have many techniques. All techniques had their own flaws. But the important point was whether or not your opponent could grasp those flaws. In all these years, Long Chen had always followed a free style. He simply fought as he pleased, and he thought that he had reached the top level in this realm. Only now did he realize that he was still dithering outside the door to this realm. He was like someone who didn't understand the slightest bit about the martial Tao trying to fight others. His random moves might be difficult for others to block. However, when he fought a true expert, he came to realize just how much he was lacking. He had to take things step by step. If he truly wanted a free, formless style, then he had to first learn many techniques. Without entering the first realm, how could he skip to the formless realm? If he hadn't encountered a masterful teacher like Liu Zichuan, he would still be lost. Now that he had broken his bias toward learning those techniques, it was time to start studying them. He had to find his own style of the Saber Tao. Time passed bit by bit. The Luo family led the Ying Prefecture's experts in repelling the waves of sea demons. Finally, the Devil Sea grew come once again, and the battlefield was cleaned up. All the corpses were naturally handed to Long Chen. Mountains of them were then sent into the primal chaos space. Right now the wood foundation divine trees were no longer growing taller, but they were getting thicker and thicker. From thirty meters thick, they had grown to three hundred meters. After reaching a width of three hundred meters, Long Chen found that their wood was even harder than metal. Moreover, their weight was not inferior to iron, 
and their toughness was astonishing the wood of the wood foundation divine trees was perfect for creating spears bows and arrows it was both tough and hard extremely valuable they hadn't even reached full maturity yet but already possessed such toughness it was truly shocking very worthy of being a legendary tree long chen then cut off a branch the width of an arm and it took him quite a bit of work to fletch it into an arrow he couldn't help sighing over it this was a natural divine arrow wooden arrows were the easiest arrows to conceal within heaven and earth as they pierced toward their target they didn't make much noise and were harder to sense they might be even more effective than those noiseless arrows long chen took out a bow and stood atop the commander tower overlooking the battlefield he suddenly raised his bow with a snap of the bowstring that arrow vanished from sight the arrow whistled through the air and a rain of blood fell after that a black robed figure fell from the sky his head pierced by the arrow he was already dead an assassin from the bloodkill hall startled cries rang out that was a divine lord and he was already dead but the remnants of his blood kai were astonishing he must be a primal another heavenly dao fruit falls into my hands long chen smiled the wood foundation divine trees were truly spiritual treasures of heaven and earth using them to make arrows with no arrowhead the arrow pierced through the air silent and invisible adding on his own archery technique that assassin that was hidden in the void couldn't even make a sound before being killed just now long chen suddenly sensed a faint aura that seemed like it wasn't even there if it was before even if he could sense it he wouldn't have been able to pinpoint the location this was an expert skilled in concealing himself however the current long chen was no longer the old long chen through liuo zichuan's training he could control the power of heaven and earth through that he was easily able to grasp the assassin's location before this long chen could only pinpoint the assassin's location if the assassin got close or attacked now with the aid of heavenly dao energy his divine sense was one with the world he could see further and clearer according to luo zichuan it was much more difficult for long chen to use heavenly dao energy but he naturally had sharp senses just by borrowing the slightest heavenly dao energy he was like a tiger with wings the assassin whose clone had disguised itself as the grand elder had been hidden too far away for long chen to sense back then but now long chen definitely would be able to find him after all not everyone was as terrifying as luo zichuan although long chen had taken a blow during his fight against luo zichuan it didn't cause his confidence to falter that was precisely the part that Liuo Zichuan had praised him for there were a total of three the other two ran Long Chen indicated for everyone not to panic in truth he had only been trying to scare off those three dislikable fellows he hadn't expected this random arrow to actually kill one who would have thought that the arrows made from the wood foundation divine trees would be so terrifying they passed through the air silently it seemed that the records he had read in the academy couldn't be entirely trusted what he was unaware of was that those records were all accurate it was simply that the wood foundation divine trees also came in their own levels only low-grade ones that couldn't bear fruit were used to make arrows those that could bear fruit were all high grade normally people were unwilling to damage even the smallest piece of bark from them afraid that this would affect their ability to reproduce who would turn them into arrows long chen's method was a complete waste of a natural treasure if others knew that he had cut off a branch the size of an arm to turn into an arrow instead of a spear they would definitely curse him to death for being so wasteful long chen had now seen how terrifying the wood foundation divine trees were currently they weren't even fully grown 
if they were allowed to mature, how terrifying would there would be. It seemed that their entire body was a treasure. Long Chen, it actually was true. When Long Chen returned to the Liuo family, Liuo Changwu was there. His voice quivered when he saw Long Chen. Chapter 3228 Sword pointed at the Chu family Long Chen, was brought to a secret underground world beneath the Liuo family's territory. This was their most hidden place. There were layers of protective formations here, and the spiritual Kai was incredibly dense. At this moment, Long Chen saw six hundred warriors of the Liuo family here, their eyes filled with emotions. Some of them had more, some of them had less, but within all of their eyes, Long Chen saw a trace of violet blood. However, there were no violet pupils. Violet pupils were the mark of their violet blood reaching a certain density. In all the generations of the Liuo family, only Liuo Zichuan had awakened violet pupils, and that was only because of violet firm. Even so, Liuo Chang was incredibly excited. Those disciples had all become primals. He felt like he was in a dream. This fruit was absolutely heaven-defying. Long Chen then saw Liuo Bing and Liuo Ning amongst them. He waved at them. They were unaware that the fruit they had eaten had come from Long Chen. Liuo Changwu classified this matter as the highest level secret of the Liuo family. Except for Liuo Bing and Liuo Ning, the other disciples would become the hidden power of the Liuo family. They would not be allowed out of this underground space lightly. If the rest of the world were to learn that the Liuo family had produced six hundred primals overnight, they would be in danger. At this moment, Liuo Changwu and Long Chen returned to the surface. However, Liuo Changwu's excitement had yet to fade. Long Chen, you are the greatest benefactor of the Liuo family. You're too courteous. I am the one who received great kindness from the Liuo family, said Long Chen with a smile. Of course, he owed the Liuo family. Without the Liuo family, how could he have come to exist? Long Chen continued, The family head is no longer present, and we are surrounded by enemies. We cannot continue like this. As for myself, I cannot stay in the Liuo family forever. I hope to resolve this problem soon so that I can return to the academy. Resolve it. What do you mean? Asked Liuo Changwu. I mean let us pluck out the Chu family by the roots and have them vanish from this world, said Long Chen. Yuo Changwu jumped in shock. That, that's difficult. The Chu family has a half-step immortal king. Furthermore, they worship Lord Brahma's divine statue. If they use that faith energy, that expert's power will rival an immortal king. Furthermore, the Chu family has plenty of experts. It's unknown just how many of them are being raised in secret. They are all Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight's followers. Once they draw on the power of their gods, their power soars. If we fight against them directly, we won't have an advantage. Most importantly, Father isn't present. We don't have the power to fight them like that. If their higher-ups were to learn that Father is no longer present, it would be the Liuo family that is in danger of being destroyed. The Liuo family and the Chu family were mortal enemies. They all dreamed of eliminating the other. However, both sides were evenly matched. Without assurance, no one wanted to take the risk of attacking the other. Long Chen shook his head. This is no solution. The Chu family definitely has some secret methods for drawing the devil seas sea demons to the Ying prefecture. With the Chu family also in a position to attack, the Liuo family had no choice but to split their attention. You are in a constant tense state. Maintaining that state would make anyone weary over time. The other aspect is that, as you lead the Ying prefecture's experts against the sea demons, although you won every time, there are always some losses. Such constant invasions will slowly grind you down. It doesn't matter whether it is the Liuo family or the other forces of the Ying prefecture, they won't be able to endure forever. 
if the birth of new geniuses doesn't keep up with the losses, people will naturally get nervous. As time passes, their morale starts to fall. Then, when the Chu family adds some more mental warfare, you will crack from the inside, and the Liuo family will have no chance of turning things around. Yuo Changwu sighed. I have also thought of all of that, but there is no good way to deal with any of it. However, now we have six hundred more primals. Once they grow up, there's no need for them to even reach the Divine Lord realm. Just the peak of the Four Peak realm will be enough for us to trample the Chu family. It won't take too long, maybe two or at most three years. We've been waiting for so many years, we're not missing two or three. Long Chen bitterly smiled. This uncle of his was just as Liuo Zichuan said. He was focused on defense, not offense. He always did things steadily, without taking risks. Marshal uncle, my character is a bit like the family heads. It can be said that in my life, if I'm not attacking, I'm on the road to attacking. Defense isn't my specialty, but I do have a sharp nose for conflict. Don't you feel that the Chu family's mischief this time is very sudden? You mean, let's think logically. The Chu family suffered setbacks in the High Firmament Academy. Their four primal disciples were slain by me in the Nine Prefecture Convention. I used Heavenly Tribulation to kill so many of the Bloodkill Hall's experts, and countless sects disbanded overnight as a result. Logically, now is not the time for them to make such a move. They should be quietly waiting and watching. Isn't it unnatural for them to provoke the Yuo family at this time? Now that you say this, it is a bit strange, said Liuo Changwu, feeling startled. Long Chen continued, thus there must be something we don't know. Although we don't know what it is, my intuition tells me that the more we hesitate, the more danger there will be. Since you wish to be conservative, how about we launch a sneak attack as a probing blow to see the real situation in the Chu family? What kind of probing blow? asked Liuo Changwu. I wish to know how is Uncle Wen's power compared to yours? asked Long Chen. Big Brother is a bit stronger than me. It is said that he has touched the barrier, said Liuo Changwu. Yuo Changwen's realm was a bit higher than his. But just touching the barrier didn't mean that he could progress to the next step. Touching the barrier was equivalent to seeing the path ahead. However, there was still a heavenly chasm blocking that path, and if it couldn't be walked through, it still meant nothing in the end. All right. It'll take a few days for me to refine some medicinal pills. Once you and the other peak primal divine lords of the Liu family consume these pills, you will all possess the power of half-step immortal kings, said Long Chen. What medicinal pill is so amazing? Yuo Changwu jumped in shock. Long Chen smiled. You'll know when the time comes. So, can we try this? If you really can refine a pill like this, we definitely can try probing the truth about the Chu family said Liuo Changwu. He was very moved. He was growing more and more shocked when it came to Long Chen. All right. I'll borrow the precious land of the family head to refine pills in. That's no problem, right? Naturally, it is no problem. Then it's decided. First tell Uncle Wen about this, and wait for my good news, said Long Chen. After saying this, he headed toward the honing heavenly staircase. Staring at his departing figure, Liuo Changwu sighed deeply. Long Chen had truly stunned him. He was a very terrifying youngster. Fortunately, he was a friend of the Liuo family. After this, Long Chen smiled a bit sinisterly. What probing blow! Who has time to play with them? We're going to play bid. The pitiable Yuo Chang was still had no idea that he had been conned by his nephew. In Long Chen's eyes, there was no such thing as a probing blow. If he were to launch an attack, it would be to end things once and for all. 
Chapter 3229 Collective Honing Zhu Zixin coughed up blood. He was at the 79th stair and was sent flying back, unable to reach the 80th step. Hence, Zhu Zixin was tumbling down the stairs. On the 60th step, Bai Ziol hastily got out of his way. Just like that, Zhu Zixin was sent flying past him, landing on the ground, his body almost deformed. Bai Ziol quiver. Zhu Zixin was truly ruthless. He had tried over ten times, only to end up in this miserable state every time. But he never gave up. Bai Ziol then looked up to see Kin Feng at the ninetieth stair. The latter stayed in his position for a long moment before suddenly raising his leg to the ninety-first stair. As a result, with a grunt, he was sent flying down just like Zhu Zixin. Originally, Zhu Zixin was just lying there like a dead dog. But when he heard that sound, he used all his power to roll to the side. Kin Feng flew right by him, bouncing off the ground and heading toward a boulder. However, that boulder already had a large notch in it, so he simply slid through that path instead of smashing into it. Seeing Zhu Zixin and Kin Feng states, Bai Ziol got goosebumps. This was too ruthless. He had previously felt resentment toward his father for the beatings. But now, he no longer hated his father. Seeing Kin Feng treat him even more ruthlessly, his father's methods no longer seemed all that ruthless. Zhu Zixing had originally only reached the 49th step, but when he saw Kin Feng charging up as if his life was on the line, he was also affected and started trying to draw out his potential. In these few days, Zhu Zixin had started to awaken his slumbering primal bloodline thanks to the honing and his own efforts. He was aware of how his power was soaring with every step he could progress. This daily improvement shocked him, and he himself didn't quite dare to believe it. You should take a rest. Don't kill yourself. Kin Feng got up, covered in blood, his face had many cuts on it from smashing into the staircase, but he was still lively. This honing heavenly staircase was practically a priceless treasure. Kin Feng wasn't worried about himself, but he did worry about Zhu Zixin. After all, the latter had just started to awaken his primal bloodline. If he overestimated himself, he would injure his body. Going too far was just as bad as not going far enough. Brother Feng, I can still hold on. You can continue. Don't let me hold you up, said Zhu Zixin, struggling to stand, his face also bloody. Don't use up all your willpower in one go. Perseverance is even more important than explosive power. After all, you'll have many chances to fight as if your life depends on it. Take things step by step, urged Kin Feng. He then charged up the honing heavenly staircase once more. With Kin Feng already going up, Zhu Zixin adjusted his condition and also went up. Kin Feng quickly reached Bai Ziol's position. Seeing Bai Ziol's expression, Kin Feng couldn't help smiling. You aren't a body cultivator, so the honing heavenly staircase will be harder for you to climb. There's no need to compare yourself to us. We don't have that talent of yours so we have no choice but to fight with our lives on the line. There is nothing to compare here. Calmly try to comprehend the power of the heavenly Daos, said Kin Feng. Bai Ziol nodded. He was afraid that others would look down on him. Hence, Kin Feng's words made him feel better. The Luo family's owning heavenly staircase was usually only open for the Luo family's disciples. It was used to activate their violet blood, so it had high requirements for a person's physical body. On the other hand, Bai Ziol's physical body was weak. For him to have climbed up until here was quite astonishing. Zhu Zixin also quickly passed him, leaving Bai Ziol in last place again. Clenching his teeth, Bai Ziol stepped toward the next stair. As a result, as soon as his foot landed on it, a powerful current struck him. Startled, Bai Ziol tried to stabilize himself, 
but he couldn't stop his body from falling back. In that instant, he felt like his heart had stopped beating. If he fell like those two then with his physical body, he would be crushed. Just as he panicked, a hand pressed onto his shoulder, stabilizing by Zyol's tilting body instantly. He turned back and cried out, Boss! The one who had come was Long Chen. Long Chen smiled at him. Not bet. You actually reached this level. It's beyond my expectations. Hearing that praise, Bai Ziol was delighted. Long Chen's praise was a supreme glory to him. However, don't use your body to forcibly climb. The honing heavenly staircase is filled with profundities. Try to sense the spatial energy here, and corroborate your own spatial energy with this place. It's not a case of the higher you climb, the greater your gains. You have to comprehend the experience as well. This will increase your comprehension of spatial energy, said Long Chen. Yes, boss. I understand, said Bai Ziol. Long Chen nodded. Although Bai Ziol was a bit foolish and childish, when he needed willpower and perseverance, he could bring them out. He wasn't afraid of suffering hardship. Combining this trait with his good talent, he would definitely grow up into a capable person. Long Chen quickly reached the 80th stair. Zhu Zixin had just charged up to that stair, and in the face of that terrifying pressure, he was kneeling on the ground. Long Chen patted him on the shoulder as encouragement. This fellow had started to transform. A good start was very important. In just a few days, Zhu Zixin's aura had completely changed, and that showed that he truly had the determination to get stronger. When Long Chen reached the 91st stair, Kin Feng had just managed to stabilize himself there. He was standing tall. Long Chen was also proud of him. Every dragon blood warrior was outstanding. Kin Feng had actually figured out the crux of the honing heavenly staircase. He was absorbing the power of heaven and earth to resist its pressure. Although it was just the slightest trace, it was what allowed him to stand here. It had to be known that Yuo Zichuan had sent Long Chen tumbling down the honing heavenly staircase many times, and Long Chen was still like an oaf charging up, forcibly resisting the power of the honing heavenly staircase. Using Yuo Zichuan's words, there was no cure for his foolishness. Teaching people to get closer to the heavenly Daos was the most important use of the honing heavenly staircase. According to reason, someone who couldn't use heavenly Dao energy couldn't reach the peak. It was like a lake. If you wanted to cross it, you had to know how to swim. However, Long Chen was a marvel who managed to take a single deep breath and walk across the bottom of the lake to reach the other shore. Although Yuo Zichuan scolded him for being foolish, he was also quite shocked by that accomplishment. Long Chen was the first person in history to break that rule. However, Kin Feng didn't have that power, so he had to figure out how to cross properly. As a result, he could comprehend this method faster than Long Chen. Furthermore, he wasn't rejected by the heavenly downs. That was his advantage. Long Chen could also see that the 91st stair was essentially Kin Feng's limit. His chance of getting to the 92nd stair was very low. After all, his realm wasn't high enough. Long Chen reached the peak. The stone hut was still there, but Liuo Zichuan had vanished. For some reason, Long Chen felt a bit lost. Although Liuo Zichuan was strict, he was definitely one of the people that he respected the most. Long Chen sorted out his emotions and calmed down. After that, he took out his pill furnace and the medicinal ingredients. Just as he was preparing to refine pills, some heat came from his left eye. After that, the void shuddered and a black-robed girl appeared in front of him. Big Brother Long Chen Chapter 3230 Preparing for Battle Lay Linger Long Chen almost didn't dare to believe his eyes when he saw the girl in front of him. Lei Linger had been born with violet clothes. 
However, now she was wearing black robes, and her pupils were as black as ink, seemingly containing boundless destructive power. Big Brother Hub, Nav alone, come when Lay Linger extended her hands. Two cute dimples appeared on her adorable face. Seeing this, Long Chen laughed and hugged her. The current Lay Linger was growing more and more like a human. Even her emotions were expressed on her face. On the Martial Heaven continent, although Lei Linger had been able to transform and was close to Long Chen, she somehow had given him a reserved feeling that was different from Huo Linger's enthusiasm. Fortunately, in the immortal world, she was growing more spiritual. Also, since Lei Linger and Huo Linger were both personally raised by Long Chen, Long Chen had a great deal of sentiment and affection for them. Big Brother Long Chen, I fully absorbed the energy of the black lightning. I can help you beat bad people now. Lei Linger raised her fist and laughed. Long Chen looked into her eyes. There was sword like flickering deep within them now. Long Chen felt a chill. Even now, Long Chen still felt some fear toward those black lightning swords. After all, they had almost killed him. Now that Lei Linger had absorbed them, she was definitely an extremely terrifying existence. Hence, Long Chen felt his spirits lift. As expected, fortune was found in danger. Lei Linger had transformed again. She had naturally comprehended lightning techniques on the martial heaven continent, and here in the immortal world, she could still unleash them. She could also come up with her own techniques based on her power. Since this was the case, she would become another powerful trump card for Long Chen. Most terrifying of all, she no longer needed to depend on him, and was entirely capable of fighting on her own. Just then, Long Chen's arm shook and a flame dragon also jumped out, coiling around Lei Linger. Hee hee, don't worry, you'll transform soon too. We can then help Big Brother beat up bad people together, declared Lei Linger, comforting Huo Long. Lei Linger, protect me. We're going to refine pills. With Lei Linger here, Long Chen felt much steadier. He opened the pill furnace and started refining medicinal powders. When all the medicinal powders were poured into the furnace, Huo Long wrapped around the pill furnace, lighting up its rooms. As time passed, the pill furnace began to tremble, along with the entire mountain peak. Long Chen pressed his hand against the pill furnace. His spiritual strength wrapped around it, sealing it tightly until the immense power inside of it could not escape. The pill furnace then quivered, as if a beast was trying to break free. But the ground shuddered intensely. After that, Long Chen sighed and opened the lid. A pile of broken fragments were present inside. The medicinal fragrance then assaulted his nose, but the pill was nowhere to be found. The third-tier explosive blood pill must be a giant pill in order to be effective for divine lords. Furthermore, it must reach the level of a treasure pill. After not refining pills for so long, my technique is rusty. Also, it truly is difficult to refine a giant explosive blood pill. Long Chen shook his head. If it was an ordinary explosive blood pill, then Long Chen would have no problem refining one on the level of a treasure pill. With his skill, a single furnace of pills might end up having one or two top-grade treasure pills. However, turning nine pills into one giant pill while also maintaining its quality was truly difficult. Ever since he entered the immortal world, Long Chen rarely refined pills. It was always Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace helping him refine them. Long Chen sat for a while and then continued refining pills. After failing seven times, he was starting to feel dejected. This was truly difficult. Long Chen stood and paced around for a while. Suddenly, he eyed the stone hut. Having a sudden thought, he walked toward it. The stone hut was very simple. Other than a stone couch, there was nothing else. But upon getting closer, 
he saw a mural carved into the wall. The mural depicted nine star clouds surrounding one giant star. Around the star clouds were four giant black figures. It was unclear what they were, but they seemed like four terrifying beasts wishing to devour the entire world. The mural was very messy, almost like a child's graffiti. Yet within these messy lines, countless profound mysteries seemed to be hidden. Long Chen was unable to understand many of those lines. He was only able to see the nine star clouds, the giant's star, and those unclear black figures. Looking more closely, he suddenly noticed that there was a single black dot within the nine star clouds of the immortal world. This seemed to be a specific mark. This mark wasn't something that he could read. However, he could clearly tell that this mark was not part of the original mural. It was added afterward. It was clearly different from the other lines. Could it be that this is where the violet blood race is trapped? Long Chen's heart shook. He felt like he was staring at something he wasn't supposed to see. Yuo Zichuan's residence was not a place that others could come to. The main thing was that no one else was capable of climbing the honing heavenly staircase. Most likely, this secret was something only Long Chen and Liuo Zichuan knew of. Even Liuo Changwu and Liuo Changwen were in the dark about it. The immortal world was enormous, and the knowledge he knew was like a drop in the ocean. Regretfully, there were many ancient tomes in the High Firmament Academy that he could not read without reaching a high enough realm. After seeing this map, Long Chen felt like the immortal world was truly hiding far too many secrets. He truly had a long path to walk. After settling his emotions, Long Chen left the stone hut and once more started refining pills. After failing two more times, he finally succeeded. A pill the size of a baby's fist appeared in front of Long Chen. Light flowed around it and it thrummed with life energy as if it was alive. I suppose it can count as a success. Long Chen sighed deeply. This was a top-grade third-tier giant treasure pill. If sold, its value would be incalculable. Lay linger, nourish it with some thunder force, and expel the remaining impurities. But be careful. Long Chen passed the giant pill to Lay Linger. In the mortal world, Lei Linger had helped Long Chen by using tribulation lightning on the pills that he refined, giving them a baptism to turn them into tribulation pills. However, in the immortal world, only six tier pills and above were qualified to undergo tribulation. The six tier pills were for mighty world kings. It was said that once a pill reached the sixth tier, it would possess its own spirituality, its own spirit. It needed to obtain the recognition of heaven and earth to exist in the world. That was why they needed to undergo tribulation. However, it was different for Long Chen. Now that Lei Linger had transformed, she was capable of using thunder force to expel the remaining impurities in medicinal pills and leave a lightning mark within them. Such a pill had essentially obtained the recognition of the heavenly Taoes, allowing it to unleash its peak medicinal effect. To put it frankly, this was a way to cheat the heavens. However, as long as the heavens didn't find out, it didn't matter. Before this, Long Chen truly wouldn't have dared to have Lei Linger nourish them. But it was different now. Nourishing pills would be no problem for her. Long Chen continued to refine pills, and he failed twice more before succeeding again. He then found the feeling, succeeding in the refinement seven times in a row. Afterward, he failed and succeeded in succession. In total, he refined eleven top-grade giant pills. These were for the Luo family's eleven primal divine lords. After that, he refined over five hundred ordinary explosive blood pills. Although they weren't giant pills, they were still of treasure grade. He then descended the mountain and went to see Luo Changwu. Marshal Uncle, help me gather some people. I want to fletch some wood arrows. 
Chapter 3231 Descending upon the Sheng Prefecture when the craftsmen saw Long Chen take out a branch of wood that was three feet thick and three hundred miles long, they were completely dumbfounded. The arrows that they crafted were always made of high-quality metal, not wood. However, when they examined this wood, they found that it was harder than metal, causing them to jump. Even Liuo Changwu was stunned. Although he had read many books, he didn't recognize this wood. He had never seen such tough wood. This piece of wood was actually only from a branch. If it was the trunk, then it would be even tougher. But Long Chen was unwilling to sacrifice a wood foundation divine tree. This branch was already enough to make hundreds of thousands of arrows. However, this wood was so tough that turning them into arrows would take quite a bit of labor. Long Chen definitely couldn't afford to waste so much time on that. Fortunately, these craftsmen were very capable. They quickly found suitable tools to fletch the wood, turning this branch into as many arrows as possible while wasting as little as they could. When the first arrow was done, Long Chen took out his bow and shot the arrow. It instantly vanished, and an explosion occurred in the distance. It had struck a thick metal shield, blasting it apart. But a sharp arrow exclaimed Luo Changwu. It was his first time seeing an arrow with such terrifying power. Most importantly, it vanished from sight as soon as it left the bowstring and didn't make any sound. It was as if it had merged into space, becoming impossible to track. This still isn't too great. If it was a wood element expert who shot it, it would be even sharper, and the arrow would contain their wood energy. That energy will instantly explode when the arrow strikes its target. Even if the opponent is another wood cultivator, they won't necessarily be able to block it, said Long Chen with a smile. Of course, these arrows were extraordinary. They were from a branch of the wood foundation divine tree, and contained powerful wood energy. Hearing that, Liuo Changwu immediately found some wood element experts. Long Chen was surprised that they actually used a human target to test it. At this moment, an arrow was shot into the shoulder of a divine lord. As a result, that divine lord's body instantly stiffened. His body became covered in a bark-like pattern, and he was unable to move. When the arrow was plucked out, the wood cultivators tried to heal him. They then spent a full hour working on him before he was fully recovered. This terrifying arrow shocked and delighted the Luo family's experts. Marshal Uncle, you should gather three hundred wood element archers. Even if they aren't that skilled in archery, in a large-scale battle, they can close their eyes and randomly shoot, and they'll still hit a few. These archers will be what we use for our sneak attack. After they are done, we'll retreat. Their power doesn't really matter as long as they can shoot, said Long Chen. That's no problem. With our years of fighting the sea demons, almost everyone in the Luo family has practiced their archery. Although they are not necessarily divine archers, they have some skill in this regard. Picking out three hundred elites will be no problem, said Liuo Changwu confidently. Long Chen had already handed him the pills. This was Liuo Changwu's first time seeing a giant treasure pill. After being nourished by Lei Linger, these pills had almost no flaws at all. Just by holding them in his hand, Liuo Changwu felt his violet blood starting to surge. The power of these pills was terrifying. Originally, he was still a bit worried, but these arrows and pills made him fully confident. With these arrows, four peak disciples could easily slay divine lords. After three days of preparation, they were ready to leave. Qin Feng, Bai Xiaol, and Zhu Zixin also came with them. After the tempering of the honing heavenly staircase, it was as if they had been transformed. Zhu Zixin in particular appeared different. His gaze was sharper. Yuo Changwu led a group of the Yuo family's experts along with 300 elite archers. Yuo Bing, Yuo Ning, Yuo Zhu, 
and Liuo King were also present. The Liuo family didn't intend on hiding them. After gathering, they secretly went through a transportation formation. When they came out, there were already people waiting for them. Greetings, Uncle Wen. Long Chen hastily bowed toward the head of this group. This person looked very similar to Liuo Changwu, but he appeared even steadier than him. He was Long Chen's uncle, Liuo Changwen. Changwu has already told me about your matters. We are one family, so I won't say any overly courteous words. Since the idea was proposed by you, you will lead this sneak attack. The two of us brothers will follow you, said Liuo Changwen with a smile. Uncle Wen, since you already said that, I won't stand on courtesy, aha. To tell the truth, if you're going to listen to me, I feel a bit more assured. Long Chen laughed. This sneak attack naturally must be led by Long Chen, or it could easily fall into chaos. If Liuo Changwen was also willing, Long Chen would naturally take over that privilege. Liuo Changwen and Liuo Changwu laughed along. They did like this character of Long Chen's. It was simple and direct. This place is where the Ying Prefecture connects to the Sheng Prefecture. It is also the only path from the Ying Prefecture to the Sheng Prefecture. There are countless experts gathering on the other side. They seemed to be waiting to gather enough forces to attack us. If we want to pass, we will definitely disturb them, said Liuo Changwen. The Ying Prefecture was almost an island surrounded by the Devil Sea. It bordered the Shen Prefecture, but their relationship wasn't very good, so naturally, there were no direct transportation formations between them. There was simply this mountain range connecting the two. Thus, when the Shen Prefecture's experts began to gather here, the Ying Prefecture's people would naturally notice. While the Liuo family allowed for peaceful coexistence between the various forces within the Ying Prefecture, the Chu family in the Sheng Prefecture claimed the land for themselves. When they became the boss of this place, they began expelling outsiders and adding Lord Brahma's followers to their territory. With such a powerful backer, they quickly became the only force within the Sheng Prefecture. Although there were countless sects in the Sheng Prefecture, they all had to listen to the Chu family's orders. This was a display of the Chu family's dominance. Considering that the forces of the entire prefecture belonged to them, the Liuo family was unable to obtain any advantage over them. Even after so many years, they were in a stalemate. Since it's a sneak attack, we naturally won't charge over and alert them. We are sneak attacking the Chu family, not the Sheng prefecture. Pulling the carpet out from somebody is the true King Dao, said Long Chen mischievously. Sneak attacking the Chu family? Yuo Changwen was startled. He then looked at Yuo Changwu because this brother of his had said that they were organizing an expedition to get a closer look at the Chu family's movements. Yuo Changwu simply shrugged, indicating his own innocence. Long Chen had said that it was a sneak attack so he had assumed it was an attack on the Shen Prefecture's experts in order to draw out the Chu family's experts. After a brief fight, they would then see what kind of power they had. Long Chen hadn't said that it was a direct attack on the Chu family. If they were going to go all that way, would it even be a probing blow? Yuo Chen who instantly had a bad feeling. Considering Long Chen's guts, he had no idea what Long Chen would do. Yuo Changwen had even said that they would listen to Long Chen just now. If they were to ask for details at such a point, it would appear rude. Don't worry, we are simply probing them. If their power is fake, we'll fight. If they do have power, we won't fight them directly. After all, I, Long Chen, am not fond of taking losses, said Long Chen. Thinking of that, this was true. Long Chen was famous within the heavenly swell domain. His intelligence did not lose out to anyone. Now that Long Chen said this, the two of them felt rather bad. Xiaol, now is the moment to display your ability, said Long Chen. 
by Zion's spirit's sword. As he formed hand seals, his eyes glowed. Space twisted around them, and they vanished. Chapter 3232 Mysterious Altars The Chu family was located at the southern foot of the Shen Prefecture's Shen Heaven Mountain Range. Their backs were against the mountains, and to their left was a large river that was like a dragon snaking around the Chu family. As for the mountain, it was just like a crouching tiger. This was a treasured land. It was as if a dragon was coiling around it and a tiger was at its back. Adding on the protection of the Grand Formation, all the Sheng Prefecture's spiritual Kai gathered at the Chu family. The spirit gathering formation sucked away the spiritual Kai from all over the Sheng Prefecture. From this, it could be seen just how the Chu family treated others. Ordinarily, a spirit gathering formation would only cover your own territory. For example, the High Firmament Academy's spirit gathering formations wouldn't affect the other powers and cities nearby. For the Chu family to spread their reach this far was a kind of theft. It was clearly harming others to benefit oneself. The Chu family's spiritual Kai might be abundant, but the other sects and powers would be affected. However, with the Chu family being the overlord of the Sheng Prefecture, they didn't dare to get angry and could only silently endure. The Chu family had activated their spirit-gathering formations to the highest level, so streams of spiritual Kai were gushing toward them. Furthermore, all the grand formations had been activated. The Chu family was on a state of high alert. Does the Chu family know that we're attacking? The grand elders stared at their state of high alarm worriedly. That's impossible. Other than us, no one else knew that we were going. Long Chen must be correct. The Chu family is brewing some tricks, and they've locked down. Our own eyes are unable to transmit any news through this blockade. This is not normal, said Liuo Chanwen. During this time, the Liuo family's eyes within the Chu family had all vanished. They were unable to transmit any news and couldn't warn them of anything. According to Yuo Changwin's guess, the Chu family couldn't have found all their spies, just like how the Yuo family had no way to eliminate all of the Chu family's spies in the Yuo family. But it was simple to lock down all news from escaping. They simply had to place everyone in one place and keep watch over them. If anyone tried to send some words out in such a state, they would be instantly exposed. By Zyle's spatial arts had managed to bring them all the way to the heart of the Chu family without anyone being the wiser. But these formations blocked him. Seeing this, Bai Zyl felt quite regretful that he hadn't studied a spatial arts for breaking through formations. His mother had taught them to him, but he had simply devoured all of them in one gulp without considering them. He had never practiced those techniques even once. Having no assurance of being able to slip through this formation, he couldn't possibly risk everyone's lives on the attempt. Now what? With such a high state of alert, it's impossible to sneak in. We can only attack directly. The Grand Elder looked at Long Chen. Although he had some bias when it came to Long Chen due to Luo Qingang, in the face of the big picture, he was able to set aside that personal prejudice. No need to rush. Everything is within expectations, said Long Chen, smiling to indicate that everyone didn't need to worry. He turned to Bai Xiao. Can you use your spatial technique to see inside? Bai Xiao nodded. His three flower pupils circulated and everyone closed their eyes. They then began to see through the formation through Bai Xiao's sight. Unexpectedly, despite the formations set up on the outside, they couldn't see anyone inside. It was only when they saw that the buildings were packed with disciples that they understood. Just as Liuo Changwen had expected, the Chu family's people had gathered everyone to keep an eye on each other. Even some children were included. Look further back. I can sense a strange aura, said Long Chen. Bai Xiao's sight quickly passed through one building after another. 
Even these layers of formations were unable to stop him from seeing through them. The blood kill halls people. Kin Feng suddenly cried out, drawing everyone's attention to a certain building. There were hundreds of cloaked figures inside. They seemed to be discussing something. Don't look at them, said Long Chen hastily. Bai Ziyol immediately shifted his vision, passing through them. Amongst that group of cloaked figures, one of them seemed to have sensed something and looked around. But they didn't sense anything further and returned to their original location. Their hearts shook. That person was definitely an expert amongst experts. It had to be known that Bai Ziyol's three flower pupils were capable of looking through these layers of formations, allowing him to see things with the same viewpoint as the heavenly Daos. But that person still sensed it. Long Chen sneered as he recognized that person. He was precisely the one who had used a clone to disguise as the Grand Elder and tried to assassinate Long Chen. What is that? Bai Ziyol suddenly cried out. Within the most hidden area of the Chu family, there were five altars. They had various tributes on top of them. Meanwhile, the Chu family's experts were holding large tools, pouring some kind of bloody-like fluid into the totems on the altars. Those totems looked like five different beasts. They had never seen them before. When the liquid was poured into them, Various runes lit up on the altars until they were like balls of light. Ha ha ha, it's done. Devil kings of the netherworld, hurry up. The blood of the Luo family is waiting for you. One of the Chu family's elders laughed as he saw the altars shining. Beside him were over a thousand experts of the Chu family, who also laughed along. Those people were all at the Divine Lord realm, and amongst them, were close to a hundred primals. Yuo Changwen and the others sucked in a cold gasp of air. Although they had done their best to overestimate the Chu family, they hadn't expected their foundation to be so powerful. Thinking about it, if the Yuo family didn't have Yuo Zichuan standing guard, the Chu family would have probably long since attacked. Those five altars also gave them a sense of terror. Although they didn't know what those devil kings were, they could tell that those devil kings were definitely prepared for Luo Zichuan. Now that they were here, Luo Chengwu felt regretful. He should have ordered all the Luo family's experts to attack, instead of only bringing these few people for a sneak attack. Those five altars were glowing brighter and brighter. If they didn't immediately stop the Chu family, then they might not be able to endure this attack. Even if Liuo Zichuan was present, they might not be able to endure it. Liuo Chang looked at Liuo Changwen, who then shook his hand and pointed at Long Chen. He saw that Long Chen was eyeing those five altars indifferently. He didn't seem nervous. From those five lights, Long Chen sensed the aura of the netherworld. Now, an impossibly beautiful face appeared in his mind. That beautiful face then split in two becoming two people. Lang Yuan, Ming Kang Yu, are you still doing all right? Long Chen sighed inside. These two women were carved into his heart. Taking a deep breath, he suppressed those emotions and said, Get ready. I'm about to attack. Chapter 3233 Sharp Attack Just Like This What's the plan? How are we supposed to cooperate? Yuo Chengwu jumped in shock. Prepare themselves. What were they supposed to prepare? Black lightning appeared on top of Long Chen's left hand. He smiled. There's no plan. I'll break the formation and immediately eliminate the idiots from the blood kill hall. Bye, Sayol. Bring them into the formation. Archers, ignore everything else other than blindly shooting at those altars. Take advantage of the chaos to destroy those altars. I don't know what method they are using, but they are trying to summon life forms from the netherworld. If those life forms descend, it will be too late for anything else. We'll have to be pragmatic about it when the time comes. If we can fight, we'll fight. If we can't, we'll run. 
but the altars must be broken. After saying that, Long Chen shot off and descended out of the sky, his left hand chopping toward the formation. At this moment, black lightning exploded. Long Chen was like an arrow. These terrifying formations were as weak as paper in front of the black lightning. Over ten layers of defense were instantly pierced. Boom! Long Chen smashed into the building where the Bloodkill Hall's experts were gathered, and the building instantly collapsed. World Extermination Flame Lotus A flame lotus in Long Chen's hand exploded, and flames devoured that entire building. It happened so fast that the Bloodkill Hall's experts were still in the midst of discussing something when the flame lotus exploded. As a result, an ear-piercing alarm rang throughout the entire Chu family. Long Chen was so fast that the flame lotus exploded first and the alarm rang second. Within the endless flames, a wretched figure flew out. However, just as he escaped the flames, a black saber pierced through his back and out his chest. Blood splashed. Long Chen's figure appeared behind that person. Didn't you say that I wouldn't be able to find your true body? Now are you convinced? With a light quiver, that elder of the Bloodkill Hall was blasted into blood mist. A translucent figure then flew out of his body and tried to flee. However, that figure was shattered by another stroke of Long Chen's saber. Idiot, after condensing a clone, your Yuan spirit is no longer whole. Did you think that you could escape? Were you dreaming? Sneered Long Chen. After killing that elder's Yuan spirit, using his saber as the bridge, Long Chen went through the fragments of the elder's soul, trying to grasp some images. In those images, Long Chen saw the elder exchanging some things with the Chu family. Then the altars were constructed. After that, someone came bringing some strange things from the Devil's Sea. Based on those images, the Chu family's actions this time were incited by the Bloodkill Hall. Through those fragmentary images, Long Chen could get a general guess of what had happened. This was clearly a scheme where the Bloodkill Hall was using the Chu family's enmity against the Yuo family to draw Long Chen out. Considering Long Chen's close relationship with the Yuo family, and that the Chu family was also mortal enemies with Long Chen, he definitely wouldn't just sit still while the Chu family was making things hard on the Yuo family. After all, youngsters all felt like they were capable of anything. Once Long Chen was outside of the High Firmament Academy, they would have no more misgivings. After all, the High Firmament Academy was an extremely powerful existence, and they didn't dare to attack him inside. But outside, everything was possible. Unfortunately, the Luo family had a terrifying immortal king like Liu Zichuan standing guard over it, so they didn't dare to directly attack there. Thus, the Bloodkill Hall had come prepared. They had constructed these altars to summon the Netherworld's devil kings to handle Yuo Zichuan. After that, they would wipe out Long Chen together with the Yuo family. That way, even the High Firmament Academy couldn't interfere. After all, this was a personal grievance between the Yuo family and the Chu family. The High Firmament Academy had no excuse to interfere. This was a well-calculated scheme. Although Long Chen was unaware of all of it, just these images allowed him to guess this much. Enemy attack! Shouts rang throughout the Chu family. At this moment, one of those shouters was silenced just as he spoke, an arrow protruding through his head. That divine lord was killed with a single arrow. Just as the formations were broken, Bai Zhiol seized the opportunity to silently bring everyone over to the altars. There was no need for orders. The three hundred elite archers unleashed a torrent of arrows and shot the divine lords on the altars indiscriminately. They shot using those wooden arrows as if they cost nothing. On the other hand, the Chu family's experts roared and activated their manifestations. But then the wave of arrows struck them. By the time they reacted, it was too late. Even if they protected themselves with divine energy, 
It was useless. Their protective divine light was pierced through, and their bodies turned numb. Quite a few of those experts directly fell to the ground, twitching. Some of them sprouted roots that dug into the ground. It was a terrifying sight. As hundreds of divine lords collapsed, the other experts of the Chu family were shocked and immediately took out their weapons, activating their bloodline powers. As a result, saber light flashed like lightning and sword images filled the air like mountains, all collapsing on the Luo family's experts. The primal divine lords unleashed their full power. As the very space collapsed, those arrows flying through space were no longer able to reach them. Archers fall to the rear and continue shooting. Don't let them get close, shouted Kin Fen. Only the initial wave could have such a large effect. Once the other side was prepared, the wooden arrows were no longer so threatening. The alarm of the Chu family continued to ring out, so the Chu family's experts and the experts of sects subordinate to them must be rushing over. In this case, these archers were in charge of buying Long Chen sometime against them. Yuo Changwu, Yuo Changwen, the Grand Elder, and the other primal divine lords charged as well. Suddenly, the void shuddered and the world changed color. A giant black saber image then soared into the heavens, slashing down like an unstoppable heavenly blade. Yuo Changwu and Yuo Changwen almost shouted when they saw that Saber Kai. They thought that their father had come. That domineering Saber Aura was actually quite similar to Yuo Zichuan's. The Saber slashed down like a starry river, slaying all the Chu family's experts that were in their way. Countless people were blasted apart. After the Saber fell, one of the totems on the altar shattered. The altar instantly dimmed. After breaking one totem, Long Chen rushed toward the next one. Sop him. The Chu family's experts shouted in a panic. These five totems almost exhausted the resources they had been gathering for countless years. If the totems were destroyed, all their efforts would be for nothing. Can you stop me, though? sneered Long Chen. A primal divine lord had just reached Long Chen when Long Chen's body swayed. Just like that, he flew past him with a flash of black light. As a result, that expert came to a stop, and a line of blood appeared down the middle of his body. Following that, his body split apart. He was cut in two. Chapter 3000 234 King Item and Explosion rang out as Luo Changwu and Luo Changwen broke a totem as well. Both of them had violet kai billowing around them. With a single slash of their swords, the totem exploded. The two of them were truly worthy of being the Luo family's top experts. Once they unleashed their full power, the other primal divine lords of the Chu family were unable to stop them. They also knew that they had to break the altars or things would turn sour quickly. Thus, the two of them instantly started off at full power. No one was able to stop them from breaking the altars. But Long Chen's saber also slashed through the air. The two families' experts in his way were killed, unable to stop his saber that was slamming into the totem. The lives of the two families' experts that had blocked it reduced the power of this attack, but the totem was still split apart. The altar also turned dim. Long Chen then looked at Liuo Changwu and Liuo Changwen. The two of them were charging toward the other altar. Meanwhile, the rest of the Liuo family's experts were protecting their path. Long Chen immediately rushed for that last altar. As long as the altars were destroyed, the Chu family's schemes would fail. Stop them. One of the Chu family's experts charged in front of Long Chen. Suddenly, his aura grew explosively and Long Chen jumped in shock. Oh, that primal divine lord actually detonated right in front of Long Chen. The terrifying power was like a volcano erupting. The life of a primal divine lord exploded right in front of Long Chen. Long Chen was forced back by that terrifying power. His legs dug into the ground, 
leaving a long ditch. He almost spat out blood. Long Chen hadn't expected the Chu family's people to be so vicious. They actually used their own life to stall for time. Another primal divine lord charged at Long Chen. Long Chen immediately unleashed a slash of his saber, not giving him time to detonate. Yuo Changwu and Liuo Changwen were dealing with the same problem. The Chu family's experts seemed to have gone insane. They were detonating just to block the Liuo family's experts. Bastards! The Grand Elder roared furiously and charged, but was suddenly grabbed by Liuo Changwu. Now wasn't the time to force it. They would be the ones to lose out. Just then, a rain of arrows flew through the air. A small squad of archers had appeared here, and hundreds of the Chu family's experts fell. Kin Feng was directing the combat. As he had stopped the rest of the Chu family's experts from reinforcing them, seeing this critical situation, he sent a group of a hundred archers to assist. It was very effective. The Chu family's experts were once more caught off guard by the arrows, causing the arrows to be very effective again. As a result, the pressure on Liuo Changwu and the others decreased. They charged forward. Dai! The Chu family's experts went insane, and a few charged at those archers. These troublesome fellows had to be eliminated now. Long Chen's heart turned cold. He knew that that group of disciples was done for. No one could save them. He and the Liuo brothers needed to eliminate the remaining altar. As for Qin Feng, he was dealing with countless experts and was already being forced back. Their side wouldn't be able to hold out for long. However, despite knowing that they would die, those disciples simply continued to unleash arrows. They faced death indifferently, treating every person that they killed as profit. Die. The Chu family's experts quickly reached them. Quite a few of them were killed, but the remaining few quickly wiped out those archers. However, none of those archers made a sound. They were all stubborn warriors. Seeing this, Long Chen clenched his teeth, killing intent blazed in his eyes. As lightning appeared beneath his feet, he charged left and right. With every swing of his saber, an expert was slain, and he rapidly got closer to the altar. Right now, he had to rely entirely on fundamental techniques. There was no opening for any big moves. If it hadn't been for Luo Zichuan's pointers, Long Chen would definitely be at a disadvantage here. Even in front of this many primal divine lords, Long Chen was still attacking and defending steadily. Hence, the Chu family's experts pounced on him, detonating one after another. Long Chen didn't even have a chance to summon his battle armor. His saber danced as he got closer to the altar. Boom! Suddenly, a black figure shot out of Long Chen's body. Lei Linger flew away from Long Chen's body, heading toward the altar. With everyone's attention on Long Chen, they didn't expect someone else to suddenly appear. At this distance, by the time they reacted, Lei Linger had reached the altar. A black sword appeared in her hand and she struck the altar. As a result, the altar exploded. Right now, Long Chen had the urge to slap his own face. He had actually forgotten that Lei Linger could now leave his body. If she hadn't reminded him, he would be wasting this trump card. Lei Linger had taken the form of a lightning girl. After destroying this altar, she flew toward the other altar. Anyone who tried to stop her, whether they were primals or simply ordinary divine lords, were simply blasted apart. Stop her! The two families' experts began self-detonating in front of the final altar. Ripples spread in every direction, and even Lei Linger was forced back. Just then, a dragon roar rang out and Long Chen was clad in golden armor. With everyone's attention on Lei Linger, he finally had a chance to summon the golden dragon battle armor. Long Chen then stamped on the air. The void collapsed, and he shot out like a meteor. His saber slashed toward the final altar. 
Even in this twisting space, even with the Chu family's detonating experts, Long Chen's saber could ignore the laws of space to crush it. The twisting space, that was the result of their detonations, was unable to stop Long Chen's saber. This saber contained the essence of the saber Tao that Liu Zichuan had transmitted to him. Just as his saber was about to strike the altar, the void twisted and a pill furnace appeared, exploding Long Chen's black saber. As a result, Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. He felt like his body had almost collapsed. The divine might of that pill furnace was terrifying. Countless divine runes flowed on top of the pill furnace. Eyeing it, Long Chen actually got a familiar feeling. Daynight furnace. Now the loon, Kan Long Chen cried out. He instantly thought of the Pill Valley's divine item. Although the construction wasn't the exact same, the runes were a bit similar. The aura in particular was alike. At this moment, the Pill Furnace slowly spun, and divine light flowed out of it. A figure then appeared on top of it. It was a withered elder that looked like a corpse that had crawled out of its coffin. Golden light shone in his eyes. So you actually recognize the origin of this pill furnace. His voice was dry and raspy, and it raised people's hair. Upon seeing this elder, Liuo Changwu and Liuo Changwen's expressions changed. That's a king item. Chapter 3000 Two hundred thirty-five. Snatching the king item, a king item was the divine weapon of a world king. Only world kings that were also craftsmen were qualified to create one, and their power could truly destroy heaven and earth. The Liuo family and the Chu family had been fighting for so many years. However, the former had never once heard that the Chu family had a king item. How did such a terrifying pill furnace appear here? Liuo Changwu and Liuo Changwen's hearts sank. A treasure on this level could only be stopped by Liuo Zichuan's violet fern. But Liuo Zichuan had brought violet fern away. Even the scabbard of violet fern was able to unleash its full power without Liuo Zichuan personally using it. The thing that they felt most helpless about was that there was no retreat for them at this moment. They could only fight. Now, they felt regret. They shouldn't have only done this probing blow. They should have gathered the full force of the Luo family for this attack. But it was too late to regret anything now. If they retreated now, what would they use to stop the Chu family's devil kings? They couldn't stop now. The pill furnace was shining with divine light, and standing atop the pill furnace was an elder. That elder was the Chu family's current family head. Chu Yingxin. The current Chu Yingxin had summoned his manifestation. Within that light, a vague figure could be seen. It was fallen Danate. Long Chen instantly recognized it. Adding on the pill furnace, it was clear that this fellow was a follower of fallen Danites. Fallen Danate and Lord Brahma truly were two birds of the same flock. Even their followers were shared. Long Chen shook his head and his bloodied hand instantly recover. Call over Luo Zichuan. Chu Yingxin's gaze was as sharp as an eagle as he looked around. Crushing a little Chu family doesn't require the family head to do anything. The few of us are more than enough to destroy your Chu family. Long Chen had lost his saber, but his gaze was not at all subdued. He didn't panic. Actually, the truth was that he was almost drooling as he stared at the pill furnace. He was like a hungry wolf eyeing meat. A king item pill furnace? Just how badass would it be to use that to refine pills? Hand over the pill furnace, and I'll leave you with an intact corpse. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back and shouted. Hearing this, Liuo Changwu and the others almost fainted. What was this child saying? Right now, they had to hurry up and decide whether they were to keep fighting or flee. Time was incredibly precious. This battle was led by Long Chen, so they didn't know what strategy he had. They simply stared at him. 
the rest of the Chu family's experts also came to a pause. Only Kin Feng continued to lead the rest of the Luo family's experts against the Chu family's experts. But here, everyone was simply clenching their weapons tightly, ready to keep fighting at any moment. What a huge joke. If Liuo Zichuan doesn't come up, you'll all be annihilated. Let's see if he shows himself or not, sneered Chu Yingshan. He formed hand seals, and the divine statue behind him instantly grew clear. That figure within the light was clearly fallen daynate. When his figure appeared, the pill furnace rumbled and shot toward Long Chen. Yuo Changwu, Liuo Changwen, and the others all knew how terrifying King items were. They prepared to join forces against Chu Yingxin when Long Chen laughed. What kind of wolf are you trying to be? As your altars were destroyed and your Chu family's people were slain, you simply cowered, praying to your god. You only dared to come out once the god's radiance was bestowed upon you. Do you think that you're unrivaled with fallen Danite's protection? Who told you that this pill furnace was used like this? Long Chen formed hand seals behind his back, and a lotus mark appeared on his palms. Long Chen then shoved his hands forward. As a result, two flame lotuses bloomed, and flame chains shot out, binding the pill furnace. A mantis trying to stop a chariot. You don't know your own power. Chu Yingxing sneered disdainfully. Just as the pill furnace was about to smash into Long Chen, the space behind Long Chen twisted, forming a giant black hole. Get in here! As Long Chen opened the primal chaos space, the flame chains dragged the pill furnace into it. Just as the primal chaos space was opened, that mighty pill furnace went from a tiger to a rabbit. It cowered, and it didn't even dare to resist. The black hole then sucked in the pill furnace. Shu Yingxin was shocked. When half the pill furnace entered the black hole, he sensed that he was losing connection to the pill furnace. Get back here! Shu Yingxin instantly panicked. This pill furnace was the priceless treasure that Fulan Danit had given the Chu family. However, to truly obtain this reward, they had to do something worthy of it, and that would be killing Long Chen. Right now, Chu Yingxin was only borrowing it. If the pill furnace was lost and Long Chen wasn't slain, then the Chu family would have committed a grave sin against their god. The Chu family might be mercilessly erased. In order to obtain this treasure, the Chu family had meticulously arranged this trap using the Devil Sea to entrap Long Chen and the Liuo family. This should have been a surefire method, but unexpectedly, Long Chen had appeared here right at the critical moment. Long Chen's sudden appearance was out of nowhere. Afraid that Liuo Zichuan was hiding, Chu Yingxin hadn't dared to directly charge out. Instead, he had prayed to fall in day eight, gathering the faith energy inside his divine statue for himself. The Chu family's experts were fighting so crazily because they knew that if they failed this time, the Chu family would be doomed. Hence, they had no choice but to throw their lives away. Chu Yingxin turned green with fear. If Long Chen took the pill furnace, then how would he fight Yuo Zichuan? Chu Yingxin then roared, his divine energy raging. The might of an immortal king was fully unleashed. As a result, countless cracks appeared in the air, as if the world would shatter. Chu Yingxin grabbed one ear of the pill furnace, pulling it back with all his might. But Long Chen was activating the power of the primal chaos space, sucking it in. Since half the pill furnace had been sucked in, its powerful suction was even stronger now. Chu Yingxin unleashed his full power and essentially entered a tug of war with the primal chaos space. However, no matter how great his power or if he was supported by divine energy, even if he now had the power of an immortal king, he was still unable to pull it out. Damn thing, can you resist? Long Chen pulled as hard as he could. However, he felt the pill furnace slowly being pulled out. He was unable to beat Chu Yingxin. 
if only the pill furnace would fight then that would provoke the primal chaos space and it would definitely put the furnace in its place however it was like a frightened rabbit not daring to resist or even run long chen began to worry if this continued he wouldn't be able to beat chu yingshen the chance attacked together after luo changwen sent orders to the top experts all of them bit down on a medicinal pill hidden in their mouths as a result their blood kai erupted and violet kai soared into the heavens their blood kai power instantly multiplied several times and they charged at chu yingshen chapter three thousand two hundred thirty six the chu family's sinister scheme guide barrier seeing Liu Changwu suddenly unleashing such power chu yingshen was shocked their auras had instantly reached the half-step immortal king realm following his shout the earth split open and two divine statues rose out those two statues were of lord brahma and fallen Danite. the chu family's divine statues were actually buried underground once they appeared divine light erupted out of them forming a giant barrier protecting chu yingshen yuo changwu and the others swords slashed onto the barrier the barrier rumbled but didn't immediately break however as they continued to attack the two statues began to shake cracks began to appear on top of them the divine statues won't last much longer before they break shouted luo changwu they continued to attack and their immense power caused the earth to shake countless buildings collapsed ignore me stop that girl just as countless experts of the chu family rushed toward chu yingshen to help he shouted at them. Lei Linger had reached the final altar. Lei Linger's sword slashed into the altar, and a heaven shaking explosion erupted. Cracks appeared on the totem. One more slash would break it. Just as she was preparing her second strike, a primal divine lord of the Chu family charged over at her with a golden rune on his forehead. His blood kai ignited, and he forced her back. The Chu family's divine lords rushed over to her, their blood kai igniting. Right now, their auras all soared, igniting longevity. Pretty vicious. Long Chen was surprised. With the appearance of the two divine statues, they were supported by divine energy. Using that divine energy, they burned their own longevity in exchange for raising their power as high as possible. Burning their longevity was like burning their own lives. It was an irrecoverable, self-damaging technique. It was extremely vicious, but the temporary power that could be gained by doing so was also very terrifying. Lei Linger was surrounded by hundreds of divine lords. Even then, she was constantly cutting them down. It was just that there were too many of them, and their divine energy compressed space. She tried to get past them several times to attack the totem, but was unable to succeed. She was gradually forced back more and more. The Chu family's experts were truly going crazy. As soon as they became unable to stop Lei Linger, one of them would detonate just to force her further back. These detonations also affected their comrades beside them, occasionally killing them. They had no choice but to throw their lives away. If they failed, then the entire Chu family would be destroyed. Their numbers dwindled. Lei Linger ended up being the reaper of their lives, but they continued to persevere. In the distance, the sound of killing also rang out. Kin Feng's saber was unstoppable as countless experts fell in his path. Zhu Zixian followed behind him. At this moment, three flower petals spun in Bai Ziol's eyes space then layered and countless people were caught in that layered space bewildered until they were crushed by the spatial pressure yuo bing yuo ning yuo zhu and yuo king followed the three of them behind them were the yuo family's two hundred archers they were blocking wave after wave of experts kin feng's mission was to stop them so that long chen and the others could fight at ease if they failed then Long Chen's side would be thrown into greater danger. 
Most of these experts belonged to the various forces within the Sheng prefecture. There were too many divine lords to count. The fortunate thing was that the Luo family's archers were truly powerful. The arrows made by the Wood Foundation divine trees possessed terrifying killing power. Just with their pitiful numbers, they were able to block that army all the way until now. The Chu family's territory had transformed into a sea of blood. Meanwhile, Long Chen and Chu Yingxian were still fighting over the pill furnace. But Long Chen found himself more and more at a disadvantage. He cursed the pill furnace's item spirit for not resisting at all, not provoking the primal chaos space. Long Chen had no way to order the primal chaos space to attack, so he grew anxious. This treasure was a must-have for him. Yuo Changwu and the others continued to attack the barrier. Countless cracks had appeared on Lord Brahma and fallen Danite's statues. They looked like they might shatter at any moment, but they simply refused to. As for Lei Linger's side, the Chu family's experts were constantly being cut down, either by being killed by Lei Linger or through their own self-detonations. The bad news was the final altar's totem was growing brighter and brighter. A terrifying aura began to come from it, making people's souls quiver. It was as if some terrifying beast was about to arrive. They had reached a critical moment. Amongst these multiple battlefields, all that was required was a single breakthrough for the other side to be wiped out. Long Chen's flame chains shuddered as they pulled the pill furnace. If the pill furnace once more landed in Chu Yingxian's hands, Long Chen would never get such a good opportunity again. Chu Yingxian was also pulling the pill furnace with all his power. If he could gain control over it again, the battle would instantly become one-sided. Now the question was when the balance of the battlefield would tip over. If Liuo Zichuan hasn't come out even at such a time, I'm sure that something had happened to him, shouted Chu Yingxing suddenly. The expression of the Liuo family's elders twitched. Long Chen instantly got a bad feeling. Their expression was essentially telling the other side the truth. Those old fellows were actually lacking the strong enough mentality to not react. As expected, Yuo Zichuan was their mental pillar, and without him, they lost that pillar. Ha ha ha, since that's the case, you can all die. Chu Yingxing seemed to understand and laughed. Boom! The sea of blood on the ground suddenly condensed toward the altar. That final altar instantly turned red from all that blood. Originally, I was planning on using the spirit blood of the Chu family to condense the god's curse, but now there's no need. Since that's the case, let this blood become an offering, roared Chu Yingxian. Long Chen's heart shuddered. Chu Yingxian truly was ruthless, as he still had this trump card. All the Chu family's experts that were dying right now were part of his plan. Although Long Chen didn't know what this god curse was, it was clearly a trump card that Chu Yingxian had been preparing for Luo Zichuan. In other words, when Long Chen came here and started killing people, Chu Yingxian saw everything and let them continue just to use the Chu family's blood against Luo Zichuan. Long Chen's guess that he had been praying to the divine statue to summon the god's power was actually wrong. In other words, Long Chen suddenly looked toward the altar. He finally noticed that the five altars might look identical but the final altar's light seemed a bit different. Damn, this bastard really is crafty. Long Chen's heart shuddered. That final altar was very likely intentionally preserved by Chu Yingxian. Just then, the totem absorbing all that fresh blood exploded. The giant blood-colored gate then appeared on top of the altar. With the gate open, an enormous figure came out of it. It was a life form with two horns on its head and a bone blade on its back. Its entire body was wrapped in fire. Immortal King, when they saw that terrifying life form, the Yuo Changwu and the others felt like they had dropped into an iceberg. A cold chill filled them from top to bottom. Chapter 3000, 
237 bone blade flame devil this life form was 300 meters tall and had a pair of bull horns its head was a cross between a horse and a donkey and it had four limbs and a long tail moreover its body was wrapped in flames and those flames ignited this world turning the chu family's land into a sea of fire it let out a heaven-shaking roar which shook the world and tore the earth asunder the power of a king shook people's souls chang wu bring long chin away i'll buy you some time shouted liuo chang wen just a single chu yingshin was already hard enough for them to deal with with the addition of this terrifying life form they could only flee do you think you can get away you should know that this is a gift i prepared for liu zichuan since he hasn't come i'll give it to you instead chu yingshin laughed boom finally long chen was unable to hold on the flame chains shattered and the pill furnace returned to chu yingshin's grasp from start to end the primal chaos space refused to help long chen long chen run away to the high firmament academy a stall for you said liuo chen went to long chen when he retreated to their side that is a life form from hell it's not human so there's nothing to fear the most important thing is for everyone to work together and kill chu yingshen long chen eyed that giant life form he recognized it as a bone blade flame devil from the netherworld in his days with ming kang yu in the netherworld due to their bodies being one their souls touched long chen knew quite a few secrets of the netherworld this bone blade flame devil was a life form from the netherworld but upon entering the immortal world it would be suppressed by the laws here although it could control flame energy it slanted more toward power its flame energy was terrifying but it didn't know how to use it much hence it couldn't count as a terrifying existence to long chen the most thorny opponent here was still chu yingshen just then chu yingshen retreated with the pill furnace hiding behind the bone blade flame devil he then pressed his hand against the altar and one life form after another came out of the gate Kabe. when long chen saw eight different life forms from the netherworld appear out of the gate his scalp turned numb a single netherworld creature at the immortal king realm could still be slain with technique but eight what kind of technique could be used against them in order to kill long chen and wipe out the liuo family my chu family has worked hard we've exhausted all the resources we had accumulated for so long adding on the resources from the blood kill hall you can die happily chu yingshen laughed feeling very pleased no matter what scheme you have no matter what technique liuo zichuan has it's all useless after killing you i'll send these life forms to destroy the liuo family and everyone inside it long chen cursed his luck this was crazy there was no other way so at this moment the three flower pupil appeared in his left eye he needed to use the power of the purgatory eyes again in the worst case he would become a one-eyed person for a few more months ha 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 patiently await your deaths laughed chu yingshen just then the gate rumbled as if a hammer had struck it chu yingshen's laughter was cut off and he was stunned this altar should have summoned only eight of those life forms in truth of the five altars four were fake when the other altars were broken their energy flowed into this final altar this was the trap that chu yingshin had set up if the liuo family noticed something and suddenly attacked they would break the altars it went without saying that his planning was very meticulous he always had backup plans however according to the bloodkill hall these ancient altars were a kind of contractual summons they only had eight contractual runes meaning they could only summon eight life forms from the netherworld this contract was like hiring mercenaries after paying them with their sacrifices those mercenaries would have to help them out this contract also had a time limit after two hours 
the contract would end, and they would be pulled back into the netherworld Navalone. Calm, however, all eight of them had appeared. Why was another life form striking the spatial gate? Boom! The spatial gate exploded. After that, a pair of giant hands clawed at the void, tearing the sky apart. A humanoid life form with a pair of giant wings then appeared. This life form was far larger than the bone blade flame devils, which only reached its knees. Its body was covered by scales, and there was a vertical eye on its forehead. A terrifying or instantly crashed down on every one. The bone blade flame devils were previously roaring arrogantly, but as soon as this life form appeared, they didn't dare to move. They even began to quiver. Chu Yingxin was delighted. He hadn't expected such a surprise. He had actually summoned such a terrifying life form. Kill them, shouted Chu Yingxin. However, the bone blade flame devils simply quivered and knelt on the ground. As for that final life form, it didn't even look at Chu Yingxin. Instead, its gaze turned toward Long Chen. You are Long Chen? This life form actually sped out human words. Its voice was loud, like a divine drum being struck. It was so loud it felt like people's souls would scatter. Yuo Changwu, Yuo Changwen, and the others jumped in shock. This life form from the netherworld actually recognized Long Chen. Even Long Chen himself was shocked. He nodded. Yes, I am Long Chen. Good. The Heavenly King mentioned your name before. He had received a favor from you, so he asked us not to make things hard on you. I didn't expect to run into you here, though. What a surprise. The giant life form actually sat down and grabbed one of the quivering bone blade flame devils. It bit off half of its head. That bone blade flame devil continued to quiver, but curiously, it didn't even dare to make a sound. Only a crunching sound rang out as the giant, life form bit into the rest of the head. It was like he was eating a carrot. Yuo Changwu, Yuo Changwen, and the others felt a chill. They had never seen such a terrifying life form before. Even now, the other bone blade flame devils didn't run. They continued to kneel as if simply waiting to be eaten. The life form looked at Long Chen curiously. No one can defy the heavenly king's orders. But I'm curious, how did a weak fellow like you end up doing a favor for the heavenly king? Heavenly king? Long Chen had no idea who that was. But suddenly, a memory flashed in his head, and he shook. Is it that thing? Chapter 3238 Terrifying Three-Eyed Life Form Long Chen thought of when he was in the netherworld to break through to the nether passage realm. When leaving the gates of hell, he had stolen the door knocker. That door knocker seemed to have been a seal. With it removed, a terrifying existence was unleashed. At that time, Long Chen had immediately fled and didn't get a clear look at that figure. Is that heavenly king of yours a being with three heads? asked Long Chen. Yes, that is our great heavenly king. Little fellow, you're quite skilled to make the Heavenly King owe you a favor. You should leave this place and come to our netherworld. As the junior brother of the Heavenly King, you will be able to obtain anything you want. The three-eyed life form swallowed that bone blade flame devil that was in the immortal king realm in just a few bites. He then grabbed another one and bit it in half. Yuo Changwu, Yuo Changwen, and the others shivered. What kind of existence was this? Immortal kings were consumed like snacks. Furthermore, those life forms didn't even dare to resist. Chu Yingxing's expression changed. He had never expected things to progress in such a way. This terrifying life form actually knew Long Chen and wanted a good relationship with him. A bad feeling then rose in his heart. I was the one who summoned you. Since you accepted my offerings, you must follow the contract. I order you to kill them. Chu Yingxin hid behind the pill furnace and shouted at that terrifying life form. A. Hearing this, that life form spat in his direction. 
a large skull shot out of his mouth, whistling toward Chu Yingshan. With a bang, the skull landed on the furnace and transformed into dust. As for Chu Yingshan, he coughed up blood, and the two divine statues crumbled, their divine light dissipating. The pill furnace was undamaged, but Chu Yingshan was severely impacted and almost died. Moreover, the two divine statues supporting him were destroyed. If he hadn't had those two divine statues from the start, he would have long since died. But while those two divine statues had managed to protect him this one time, it would only be once. Even the skull of that immortal king life form was turned into dust. That power surpassed the understanding of every one present. This was not even an attack. It was a simple spitting of a skull, but it shattered both divine statues and caused Chu Yingxin to lose their protection. The divine light around him then began to dim. Long Chen suddenly extended a hand. Flame chains once more wrapped around the pill furnace, and it was pulled over to Long Chen. Get back! Chu Yingxin was shocked and tried to grab it. But he was one step too late. Just now, he had almost been killed, and having lost the support of his divine power, his reactions were clearly a bit slower. Long Chen instantly threw the pill furnace into the primal chaos space. Once it was inside, Long Chen laughed. He almost started dancing with joy. That was a king item, a treasure that only a world king could forge. With it, he was like a tiger with wings. Long Chen, you dare to steal divine venerate day night's things? You will face a terrible retribution, shouted Chu Yingxin as he coughed up blood. That was a king item. Without a world king's power, it should be impossible to control it. The only reason that Chu Yingxin had been able to use it was because of the support of the divine statues. Hence, even now, he was unable to understand how Long Chen was able to take a king item. Long Chen had taken it just like that, so Chu Yingxing despaired. He had never expected to lose this way. How had his plan drawn out such a terrifying life form? How was this terrifying life form connected to Long Chen? Just then, the sky abruptly changed and the stars shuddered. It was as if some power was gathering. Your world's laws wish to kill me, I have to leave, or I'll be killed. The three-eyed life form directly killed the other life forms summoned by Chu Yingxin. As for the rest, he tied them up with a cord, seemingly planning on bringing them away. Long Ten hastily cried out, Brother, can you leave one for me? You want to eat one? Asked the three-eyed life form. No, not eat. I just have a use for it said Long Chen. The bone blade flame devil possessed a devil core with immense flame energy. That was definitely great nourishment for Huo Long. Furthermore, its bone blade was the condensation of its life's energy. It was incredibly tough and was a natural flame element divine weapon. Both the devil core and bone blade were priceless treasures. All right, I don't mind not eating one. Without you, I wouldn't have found so much prey at once as well. It can count as your reward. The three-eyed life form had tied them all up, but due to Long Chen, it tossed one back out to him. It tied the rest of its prey to its waist and said, Little fellow, do you really not want to come to the netherworld? With the heavenly king looking after you, you will be able to do whatever you want there. Long Chen was truly moved. This three-eyed life form seemed to be nothing more than a subordinate of the Heavenly King, but it was already so terrifying. Perhaps Long Chen would have it easier there. However, when he thought about it, his action had been entirely unintentional. To have the other side repay that debt was the conduct of a petty man. Furthermore, he had his own pride. He couldn't possibly live off of other people's charity. Ultimately, he shook his head. I'm grateful for the Heavenly King's good intentions. If you have a chance, please tell him that what I did back then was nothing more than an accident, so there's no need to worry about it. I saved him once, 
and he saved me once, so we are even. If I have the chance, I might go to the netherworld and drink a few cups with the heavenly king. Just then, the stars in the sky gathered, and the three-eyed life-form nodded. Glancing at the sky, it doved back into the spatial gate, vanishing. Once it was gone, that terrifying power gathering in the sky also faded. Everything returned to normal. When the three-eyed life-form appeared, everyone stopped fighting. Now that it was gone, Long Chen turned to Chu Yingxin and smiled sinisterly. Your Chu family can rest in peace. Long Chen then grabbed the bone blade flame devil's corpse with his left hand. With a lightning blade in his right hand, he charged at Chu Yingxin. Boop! Chu Yingxin blocked, only to be knocked back. Without his divine energy supporting him, his aura instantly weakened. Chu Yingxin returned my brother's lives. Just as Chu Yingxin was knocked back, the Grand Elder charged toward him, becoming one with his sword. Two sharp blades stabbed into two bodies. Seeing this, Long Chen jumped in shock. Why would the Grand Elder suddenly go so crazy as to die with his opponent? The next moment, the Yuo Chang Wu's sword slashed down, and Chu Yingxin's head went flying. As for Liu Changwen, his sword stabbed into Chu Yingxin's danshan. This was actually a combination attack. It looked very dangerous on the surface, but with all three of them cooperating, it was the most effective killing blow. With Chu Yingxin slain, the Chu family's experts despaired. It was unknown who made the call first, but the Chu family's experts began to flee in every direction. Chapter 3239 The Chu Family's Destruction Chu Yingxin's death made the Chu family lose all hope. Having lost the will to fight, the Chu family's experts fled. As for the various experts of the Sheng Prefecture, they were led by the Chu family, and the only reason they fought so hard was because if they didn't, they wouldn't be able to keep their lives. They were afraid of the Chu family's bloody methods, as well as Lord Brahma's power. But with Chu Yingxing dead, everything was over. There was no need for them to keep risking their lives. As a result, all of the Sheng Prefecture's experts fled. As for Qin Feng, Bai Xiao, Zhu Zixin, and the others, they rejoined Long Chen. Qin Feng and the others were covered in blood. Zhu Zixin in particular had several holes in his body and one of his arms was almost falling from his body. Yuo Bing, Yuo Zhu, and the others were also soaked in blood. Moreover, only over eighty archers remained. Qin Feng's side had also been an intense battlefield. His treasure item saber was now jaded. It seemed that he had encountered a terrifying opponent as well. If it hadn't been for the Yuo family's archers, there would have been no way they could stop all those divine lords. Those divine lords had almost gone crazy. Quite a few of them were Lord Brahma's fervent believers. Faith sometimes unleashed a terrifying power. Grand Elder, are you all right? Just then, a startled cry rang out. The Grand Elder had exchanged serious wounds with Chu Yingxin. Now he was tottering, his face white as paper. When his aura instantly weakened, it caused people to jump. It's fine. The medicinal effect has passed, so a temporary weakness is natural. Help the Grand Elder recover, and we'll immediately leave. Long Chen grabbed Chu Yingxin's head as he spoke. Just then, he used Thunder Force to shatter his soul and conduct a quick soul search. Yuo Changwen suddenly shouted, this battle was between the Yuo family and the Chu family. It has nothing to do with others. The Chu family was the ringleader, and the rest of you were simply forced to do their bidding. My Yuo family won't place the blame on you. You can also be counted as victims, so the Chu family's businesses here are yours to split up as compensation. My Yuo family will not be touching them. His voice reached those fleeing experts. Hence, they hastily stopped and looked back at the Liuo family. Long Chen raised his thumb as Liuo Chan won. He truly was skilled. 
at the next moment an elder took out a family boat and everyone quickly got on after getting on the boat all the yuo family's powerful experts felt a wave of weakness yuo changwen and yuo changwu felt a splitting headache so they sagged on the ground weakly this was the after effect of the explosive blood pill it overdrafted their bloodline power to forcibly increase their realm fortunately having gotten onto the flying boat the outsiders couldn't possibly notice as they directly left countless experts instantly turned greedy and charged back fuck the chu family has bullied us for so many years it's time for compensation grab what you can not just that don't forget to eliminate the chu family while you can the sheng prefecture's experts directly charged back on the chu family being forced to submit to the chu family was something that they had no choice in moreover only some people were loyal followers of lord brahma but they had mostly been killed by kin feng and the others the others had no feelings toward lord brahma and only had hatred for the chu family kill the chu family was suddenly filled with the sound of battle once more the sheng prefecture's experts launched a slaughter against the survivors of the chu family killing people for their treasures was a scene that constantly repeated itself all the time on top of the flying boat long chen shook his head as he watched the chaos and flames that engulfed the chu family people in this world should understand gratitude when weak and respect when strong the chu family did things in an overbearing manner sometimes leaving people a way out is also leaving yourself a way out in the future long chen's quick soul search on chu yingxin's soul made him aware of all kinds of outrageous acts done by the chu family they were enough to enrage him so their destruction today was retribution for all of that it's too bad that the liuo family's fallen children weren't here otherwise there would have truly been a slaughter the chu family owes us far too much the grand elder clenched his teeth despite being in a weakened state the grand elder had followed liuo zichuan the longest he was the last remaining member of the ten great generals and it was unknown how many people beside him had died to the chu family's hands his hatred for the chu family had already sunk into his bones the reason he had gone so crazy against chu yingxin was because he suddenly thought of all his brothers that had died in chu yingxin's hands seeing victory in sight he didn't even care if he died he was willing to drag chu yingxin down with him grand elder if you go see our Luo family's ancestors like this, they will definitely curse you, said Liuo Changwen. He knew what the Grand Elder was thinking. He wanted to go accompany those brothers once more, which was why he had launched such a foolish attack. If it hadn't been for Liuo Changwen and Liuo Changwu at the end, he really might have died with Chu Yingxin. You are correct. If I die like this, so worthlessly, when I can still have use, my brothers will definitely curse me. The Grand Elder nodded, taking this lesson to heart. Yuo Chanwen nodded. The ancestors of the Yuo family were all heroes. They didn't frown at all when going into battle. But for them to go slaughter those weak children and women, even if there is a giant sea of blood's worth of enmity between us, they definitely wouldn't be able to do that. Since they can't do that, and since such a scourge cannot be left alive this is the best end the other elders all nodded although they hated the chu family to an indescribable level after killing their warriors they were unable to carry out the full massacre looking at the sea of fire filling the chu family and the countless experts slaughtering and pillaging their land they knew that the chu family was truly done for Navalun come even if the Liuo family didn't do anything the sheng prefecture's experts would make sure that the chus were torn out by the roots they were all afraid that the chu family might rise once more and find them for revenge it was just like back in the day when the Liuo and the chu families first fought they wouldn't let this history repeat itself 
they would not let the Chu family rise once more. All of them could see the Liuo family's mistake. Thus, they would not let that history repeat itself. They were not the Liuo family. If those remnants were not annihilated, they would have to worry about their descendants being wiped out. Long Chen, are you all right? Liuo Changwen turned to Long Chen. He was also covered in blood. I'm fine. I didn't even have a chance to use my abilities. It was definitely a vexing battle for me. We only won thanks to everyone's contributions. Long Chen smiled bitterly. It felt like he had never had a chance to really use his full power. Even Lei Linger hadn't had a chance to unleash any bait moves. By the time he had a chance to do anything, his saber was broken, and then that terrifying life form had prepared. Overlooking the entire battlefield, it felt like he had been the most useless one. This truly was a vexing battle. You're too humble. Without you, the Liuo family would probably have been destroyed, said Liuo Changwu. Only now did I understand what it means that the younger generation will surpass the old. Speaking of which, did you manage to find out any of the secrets of the Chu family? Chapter 3240 The Long Clan Liuo Changwen had noticed Long Chen grabbing Chu Yingsheng's head, as well as sensed his powerful spiritual strength surge. He knew that Long Chen had conducted a soul search. However, he didn't have much hope for this soul search. A half step immortal king had powerful enough spiritual strength that it would be very difficult for Long Chen to obtain any valuable information from it. Long Chen nodded. I did get some useful information. The operation this time was the result of the Chu family volunteering for it. Having faced multiple setbacks, they were both angry and afraid. They haven't had any outstanding displays in the last few days. After losing out several times, they were afraid that Lord Brahma would stop caring about them. Without his support, the Chu family would not have the power to fight our Yuo family. And Puda is Lord Brahma's number one dog. Chu Yingshan wished to suck up to the Bloodkill Hall, so they came up with this plan. Most likely, Imputa felt that this plan should work and agreed to it. He provided both the manpower and resources for this operation. Ah, it truly has to be said that the Chu family's heads weren't all full of crap. This Chu Yingxian was quite crafty. His first target was the Liuo family. If I didn't come, he would have used this power to eliminate the Liuo family. Even if the plan failed, Imputa wouldn't blame him. After all, he had done everything he could. But after I came, he was even more assured, and he ignited a secret instance, which the higher-ups had given him, in the Ying prefecture. It is odorless to us, but the sea demons are quite sensitive to it. They were drawn to it, resulting in their attacks. Then, they simply needed to get into an attacking posture, making us split our attention. They had plenty of time to prepare their trick this time, but we came before they could finish. When Long Chen explained all this, the Liuo family's experts sighed. When it came to scheming, the Liuo family truly couldn't compare to the Chu family. It's thanks to you. Otherwise, with our characters, we would still be defending. I even opposed your original plan. I'm ashamed. Yuo Changwu bitterly smiled. When Long Chen had first proposed attacking the Chu family, Yuo Changwu had felt it to be too dangerous and had disagreed. Helpless to change his mind, Long Chen had changed the plan to a probing attack. In reality, when Long Chen gave every primal divine lord in the Yuo family an explosive blood pill, it was a subtle indication for Yuo Changwu to bring all of them. However, Yuo Changwu acted like he didn't understand Long Chen's intentions and had only brought these few people. Thinking about it, he felt a burst of fear. Just a little bit more and the Yuo family would have been destroyed under their passivity. It's fine. Even if we hadn't come, the Chu family would have been crushed by that three-eyed life form, laughed Long Chen. 
Liuo Changwen shook his head. That's impossible. Without you, we wouldn't have sneak attacked the Chu family. Without that sneak attack, he wouldn't have sacrificed the Chu family's blood to draw over those life forms. If my guess is correct, it is precisely because Chu Yingchen was forced to take drastic measures that the disturbance drew over that three eyed life form. Thus, if we hadn't gone over, the Chu family would have slowly and steadily summoned those eight immortal king life forms and attacked the Luo family. Afterward, the positions of who would be destroyed would be swapped. The other experts nodded. This sneak attack had truly saved the Luo family. Even the Grand Elder was grateful toward Long Chen, especially with the way Long Chen mentioned our Liuo family. It truly made them feel like he was one of them. He he, don't overpraise me. It was a complete coincidence. I've done countless foolish things in this lifetime, but I like to have the tempo under my control. If others want to play chess with me, I'll flip the board. Furthermore, we are one family. The Luo family's matters are my matters. What's the point of so much courtesy? Their praise made Long Chen embarrassed. Ha ha ha, that's right, we're one family. There's no need to talk like outsiders. Luo Chenwen laughed. He was liking Long Chen more and more. He felt close to him. However, he didn't know that this person he had such a high opinion of was also his nephew. Half the blood within him belonged to the Liuo family. Uncle. Cough, no matter how you put it, this matter is now done once and for all. Long Chan almost called him his maternal uncle and hastily coughed to cover it up. That's right. The Chu family is definitely done for this time. But just to be safe, we'll need to keep an eye on the Chu family's movements in the Sheng Prefecture. We won't make the same mistake twice, said Liuo Changwen seriously. This time, they had to erase the Chu family from this world. They would not allow the scourge to rise once more. Uncle Wen, can I ask where the Long Clan is within the Sheng Prefecture? Asked Long Chen casually. Long Chen had used the most domineering method to shatter Chu Yingxian's soul breaking the restrictions within it and preventing him from erasing any memories. However, such a method left him with only fragments to look through that couldn't be pieced together. In these fragments, Long Chen had seen a bit regarding Long Aoshin and also a bit about the Long clan within the Sheng prefecture. However, he didn't gain much from those fragments, so he asked Liuo Changwu. The Luo family's seniors twitched when they heard that name. Their expressions grew a bit ugly. Luo Changwu and Luo Changwen exchanged a glance. Luo Changwen was the one to say the Long clan had some grievances with the Luo family over twenty years ago. Later on, they moved, and no further news came from them. But just over a year ago, they resurfaced in the Shen prefecture. According to our eyes here, those people entered the Chu family, and then, not long after, they were sent away. It is said that the Long clan has an outstanding youngster who summoned a dragon manifestation from the heavens when he entered the immortal world. That caused quite a ruckus in the Sheng prefecture. But the Chu family completely covered up this matter, so we don't know many details. As for where the Long clan went, we don't know. Long Chen, why would you suddenly ask this? Oh, it's nothing. When I did my soul search, I found that the Long Clan seemed very important to Chu Yingxian, so I was curious, said Long Chen. Long Chen knew that this Long Clan was the Long family from the Martial Heaven Continent's divine families. However, in the academy, he had never read anything regarding the Long family. As for Luo Changwu and the others, they clearly didn't wish to talk about this matter. Hence, although Long Chen had thousands of questions, he endured. If the Long clan had left, then wouldn't his father have been brought away by them as well? It had to be known that back then, his father was the strongest expert of the Long family. If it wasn't for his soft heart, he might have destroyed all the divine families. 
in the immortal world everything was based on power no matter what kind of sin his father had committed in front of his immense talent it didn't matter hence his father should be all right however the matter of the long clan seemed to be salt on an open wound of the Liuo family so long chen naturally wouldn't force these two uncles of his to talk about it if the long clan had left this area then he had no idea where to find them he would have to wait until he also left this domain long ayushin i didn't expect that you would be getting along so well thanks to my innate talent you actually have a dragon manifestation in the immortal world make sure to take care of my things for now i will personally come and take them back later long chen smiled darkly 